run away into some people. Turn your sign on. Oh sound. How do I turn my sound on? Hey, yo! Yo! Oh. Yeah, that's connected. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's connected. <laughs> Bring it on in, y'all. Just go ahead Get and... this party started. Oh, okay. And tune oh. on in. And um, share the post. Share the live. You know, like, tag, share. <laughs> <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe, subscribe. You know, share. Get y'all peoples on in or whatever. Gonna wait a couple of more minutes. Thank you for everybody that is joining in on this good old conversations with Glow. We definitely have some good old topics. So I just definitely want y'all to bring it in. It's been a while. I missed y'all. So come on, bring it on in. Yes. Hey, hey, Mo! Nah, don't. Hey, Monica. <laughs> we miss you. Wink, wink. <laughs> hey, little cousin. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> Never, never. No, you don't. No, she 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 don't. No, we know it's you, Lamar, baby. We I can know, see I said little cousin. You're my little cousin. But hey, everybody, thank y'all so much for tuning in um, to Conversations with Glow tonight. We have some great topics, and um, I really want you guys to be a part of it. Give me y'all input, how y'all feel about it. Again, at the end of the day, it's a no judgment zone, and I don't need nobody, you know. I mean, no bullshit. Thank you. You know, get no in their feelings it or it don't beep it out. Yeah. No. So no. No, this ain't TV. No. 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 You know. It's not, it's not TV. <laughs> this is conversations with glow. Okay? So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and allow for them, since they in on the conversation that I'm having, I'm gonna go ahead and allow for them to go ahead and introduce themselves and I'm gonna take it on over to her. Hey y'all. Hey, I'm A D. Um, that's about it. Next. That's <laughs> all I got. Uh, oh, uh, uh, Travis, Scorpio, um. Let's start with your boy Chezo, the number one underground comedian. Y'all remember that? Okay. He had a whole goddamn intro planned. He did. <laughs> yeah, Ta-da! <laughs> <Does it? laughs> okay, so now that I allow for them to introduce themselves, again, they're going to be a part of the conversations that we're going to have. And again, I would love for you all to join in on it. Um, So, I'm just going to go ahead and kick it off with the basically the first topic. So, today... Um, scrolling on Twitter or whatever, just lurking, doing what I do. Um, I came across um, one of my podcasting friends. Her name is Autumn. Shout out to Autumn. Um, but I came across her. She had retweeted someone else's uh, tweet. And it read, it says, If your woman cries during sex, she may be releasing some pent up emotions. Don't be alarmed. Hold her tight, keep stroking her, and whisper in her ear, I got you. <laughs> you are safe. <laughs> okay? And she said, this is an example of how you can help heal a woman through sex. Okay. So, I, I, I you know, I... Me, I, I never cried during sex. So I was just like, what? Like, I, I never knew that's how a woman would heal. Like, <laughs> I, 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 I have 
cried once during sex. That was with my ex-husband. And I cried once. Do I don't know, know why. You don't remember why? Nope. You just know you cried. I know I cried. Were you what? sad? I don't know. <laughs> Yo, it was some was sad dick. Was, was a... <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> When you cried, let me ask this: when, From what you remember from crying, do you remember was it was a happy cry or was it a sad? Cry? It 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 was a I love him, and I know that he loves me. Okay. okay. Um. But it was some. But that was some punk shit that I did. That what? was some punk shit. What by crying? Yes, that was some punk shit. But yeah. I think I think you hit it on hit it on the head. I think but, that's why some women right, get going to why right right. I don't I don't I don't I don't believe that any woman is going to cry just from a side nigga. Or just from just a random fuck. I, I don't think that. I think that a woman is going to cry because she has feelings towards that man. Or maybe she can cry if it's random because... <coughs> never mind. No! No, no never mind. Fuck! You won't care. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm just saying. Maybe she cried because it's random. Because y'all know how women do. Y'all do shit out of spite. And then after you did it, you realize like, oh, shit, I ain't mean it. Oh, like oh, okay, I get what he's saying. Like he was saying, like he. I don't. I'm fucking. No, because, no. Like say, say that say that you are married, right? And say you go fuck your side nigga, but while you fucking him, you start crying because you're thinking about your husband, right? You know, and you're, you're let like, me tell y'all something. If I have a side nigga, and I'm fucking another man, let me tell you what I ain't doing. Not thinking about thinking him, about man. my main nigga. <laughs> I'm not thinking about his ex. What y'all say? At we all. savvy. Anyway, we not even we not even on us right now. We on the I mean we are on us. But the thing is, this is what I said. My opinion is that I don't want no man telling me during sex um that he loved me and you know and, and he got what if me he does because love you though. Wait a minute. Because <laughs> what if he does love we are in the heat of the moment. Because me Facts. personally, Facts. I wouldn't believe you. Facts. Because I would be sitting up here thinking like, oh, like, do he love me or do he love what's like between my legs? Like, or do he got me or do he got what's between my legs? Like, I but be, I really feel he though. He might be a Jody nigga who be like, I want you to have my baby. Just because <laughs> y'all doing it. And, and then that's when I tell you to stop because I, I ain't having no Stop and you get the fuck out. I, I, <laughs> I, as soon as you say, I want you to have my baby. It's time for you to go. It's time for you to go. You have to so, go. As soon as you sweat. Child, right. <laughs> let a piece of sweat fall on. Oh, my God. Oh, nigga, you are so disrespectful. You are disrespectful. Oh, shit. Get me fuck out and leave. Oh, I feel like you're like, no. no. You gotta go. No, just you gotta go. No. You gotta go. You gotta go. <laughs> Woo. But what you was about to say, Travis? I'm no. sorry. No, no, no. Uh, no, I mean it's just a matter of uh, the whole sweat thing and the y'all y'all being silly, but <laughs> no, we being serious. Sweat on me if you want to. Shit, mess up my damn blowout. Shout out to uh, Christy for the blowout. <laughs> shout out to Christy, Christy, and uh, shout out to Gina Dub for the retwist. Woo woo. No, but, but and shout but out to my bestie Candice. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Go ahead. I'm to, sorry. To the, to the, to the Spanish barbershop. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where the shout outs came from. However, go ahead, Travis. No, no, what, what I was thinking was that I, the situation where I've been in where the woman that I was with, where she, when she cried, I did, uh, you know, it's, it's a matter of consoling her. If, if she, if I feel like oh, in the middle of it and she starts crying, then okay, I know she, I know it's something, something she planned. Obviously, that's something she planned. And I can tell if it was fake or not. She ain't got to go that far. From, from how we fucking around. She starts crying and I hear her the whimpering. You know, I would think that y'all would stop. No, hell what? no. What? No. What? Why? Uh, uh, we fucking. We uh, 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 fucking I made mean, you look at me like. Why would we stop? <laughs> like, I can hear gunshots and the ambulance outside. I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. <laughs> Until I fucking nut. <laughs> like, oh shit. Okay, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Have y'all ever had a dude? Excuse me. Have you? Ever had? Yo, no. Had talk had. to them. Like everybody that's have, watching, have, I would love for y'all to join in. Yeah. Have, have you ever had a man, man, ladies? Have you ever had a man cry while he was having sex with you? I have. What was he on? <laughs> <laughs> Me. <laughs> Me. Oh. <laughs> Me. Oh. 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 Me. Oh
part. <laughs> One. No, I'm asking how many how, how many times have you had that happen? Twice. Two different guys or just one guy? What? Myrtle. Myrtle. <laughs> Myrtle. <laughs> Myrtle. Well, my, my point is. <laughs> no, I shouldn't have had your ass on me. No, I shouldn't have. Well, why do you think he cried? So, Monica said that, um, she, uh, oh, okay. So, let's go back to the comments. John agreed with y'all, um, Travis and uh, Chezo. He said that um, he's not stopping until he busts a nut. <laughs> and Monica said she she has had a man cry um, while they was having sex, and she thought it was weird. Yeah, and weird. Um, it's weird <laughs> because it's not normal for a man to show uh, vulnerability like that. That's why it's weird. And that's why I, I'm very suspect to anybody that does any man. <laughs> like, what the fuck is comments? <laughs> I mean, hey, we need that. I think that goes on one of the topics. Oh yeah, she said. Um, let's just say, um, a. Um, she said me. I know that's right, Ash. Right. Like, that part. You that know, because he, you know, he was on her. But no. I, I mean, I never had a man cry. Um, while we were having sex. Now I have had some be up like mad that you, they're not mad because we're having sex but they probably mad at a situation that I have done and um you know they talking to me and I, I don't do all that don't talk to me like just work on that you shit oh. don't talk to you don't, I know sex. that's like I'm weird don't oh bitch yeah you are oh yeah you don't, are weird don't talk sex. oh shit talk to me I'm gonna talk tell I'm... me what is on your mind <laughs> I need to hear no, you. Way, no, I, 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 I don't know because I know. Why? Like, 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 Thank I, you. I, 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 I used to be a point where I don't say anything at all. It's just pure grunting. That's all it is. But no, there's, there's I mean, like, if you're moaning, like if you're moaning, like be be present, be present, but and I, I need to know that you're there, and I need to know that you're like. Enjoying it, and I need to know that they, you were well, there. I want to know what no, 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 no. They'll say like, like, talk to me. Tell me how you want it. Tell me how you want it. Oh, well, who pussy? <laughs> oh, I want you to talk shit to me. Just talk. <laughs> yeah, like I want you to talk shit to me. Like, uh, 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 shut up. Like, Brian Max says, shut up and get a nut. <laughs> <laughs> Like that, yeah, like that's fine. Moan or whatever. I'm trying to have a conversation with you. Thank you. Right. I'm not with all that conversation shit. Like keep your conversations for after. But that's what they call pillow talk, right? No. No. Oh no. No. Pillow talk is after. That's what I said after. I said talk to me after. So that would be considered pillow talk. That's pillow talk. Okay. You going back in later? Are, 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 are you gonna fist are, those tacos? Are you really stroking the air right, right now? That's, <laughs> really the air. That's the most like in the middle of the uh, like, mm, mm, mm. I know. <laughs> but um, like I said, I mean, how do you feel about it, Ashley, in regards <laughs> of <laughs> having a man tell you that like Speaks during sex? I mean, I if if you feel the need to say that to me, then clearly we are at a place in our relationship to where we're saying that anyway. Right. Um, because, like, just some, you know, side piece or just some, you know, rando, whatever the case may be, isn't just going to just pop out and just say that. So it's it, it's going to be someone who I'm with, who I have feelings for. We have expressed our feelings towards each other. That should not be the first time that you say I love you during sex. Because that will be the last time that she will have sex with that person. So yeah. let's just say, yes, talk to me. I bet you do want somebody to talk to your ass. <laughs> <laughs> she does. You probably the one she doing does. the talking too. <laughs> <laughs> no. She over there talking mad shit. Right. Talking about, Talk to me. Fuck me harder. Fuck me harder. Yes, I mean, yes, I yes. say that. Hell yeah, I do. I shit. mean, but all that lovey dovey shit. No, like, no, 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 like I'm, I'm talking what? shit. What? What? 
fuck me harder. Like, I don't think y'all Because clearly you're not fucking me harder. I didn't, I didn't bring another dick in the suitcase. I just bought this one. I don't know. It's, it's, I guess you it's gotta a, apply pressure. Right. What I was it's gonna the say, pressure. What I was gonna say about it was that My bad, Travis. That there are, no, there are <laughs> some women that are and I don't want to say they're not right in their head because every woman has their own thought process about anything and everything. What I'm trying to get at is that I've come across at least two women in my lifetime that it would be our first or second time. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Okay, go ahead. That would be our first or second time having sex. And they will say some shit like, I love you, this is your pussy, this is yours, I don't ever want to leave you, please don't ever leave me, shit like that. And we just met. Wow. <laughs> it was. I, I don't know if it was because they had this pent up okay. or they've had You know this, what that sound like? What? You trying to brag about devil dick. No. <laughs> <laughs> she said devil dick. You trying to okay, brag about Okay, so I'm going to get to the comments. No. So Monica said yes, talk to me. So, she, so Monica <laughs> liked for people to talk to her. John Johnson said we not, we not about to hold a whole convo, but you can make a joke. Or talk to me dirty. Who the fuck is joking during sex? I don't know, like, nigga, your dick little. Come on! Come on, your dick little. Come on, your dick little. Go! Go deeper. Oh, sorry. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. Go deeper. Oh, sorry. You can't. Why y'all bullshit? There's some dudes and chicks that fuck together like that. They talk shit to each other like that. That is some weird that shit. Is. That, that is. is some weird that shit. Is some weird that shit. is. That is some weird shit. Um, slap you, um, slap you. Slap you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Put him in the right hand. Oh, oh nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Lush is saying, yes, daddy. It's yours for now. For now. Get the fuck out of here. Tell me for now. But I don't even say that. Like you know what? Let's just even ask, ask me. Is she she is such my fucking spirit animal. Yeah, I fucking love her. Like that, she man. is my yeah, fucking spirit Spider-Man animal. Spider-Man I too. swear, like we be on the <laughs> same wavelength. Like, we be on the same wavelength. And then you just like why the fuck are y'all having sex? Because y'all have a female dominant conversation. And then so Shamika Butler said. No jokes, please. Right. But John comes back to say, my body inside of your body, if that is not a moment, you can laugh about I don't know what what is. John, are you single? No, he's not single. Um, he, he no, married. No, he has a girlfriend. Oh. Um, my body inside of your, my body inside of your body, if that is not a moment, you can laugh about I don't know what it is. My oh okay. Oh. Okay, okay. I you laugh about my body your body. I'm slow. Oh, no. Bitch, I still don't get it. No. <laughs> my body <laughs> inside of your body, if that's not a moment you can laugh about. Why like, is that an L S G song? It is. My body, body is all over your body, your body babe. Hey. I'm not, uh, mm, okay. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. I I, okay, so we're gonna go. Oh, me personally just don't right, don't right. tell me that you love me or that you got me while we're doing while during sex now all this other like yes i mean i would talk i daddy and you know whatever i fuck do me harder yeah fuck the fuck <laughs> me harder um but i i would rather for you to actually have if that is how you really feel about me I would really want you to have that conversation while we're not having sex. Um, and I would like for that conversation to actually be face to face because <clears throat> that would be something that you're not. I, I I know that some people are scared to talk face to face and they feel more comfortable when they're texting someone. But if you really feeling someone like that, I really believe that that should be a face to face conversation. Like, just don't tell me that you got. I would be the one that I. First of all, like I said, I wouldn't believe it. But and then after that, I really be thinking like, damn, shit. He said this during sex. You know, maybe he might really, you know, like me for real. I've been down that road before. I've learned from that. Just don't tell me no shit like that. Okay. 
So, they got them luscious Gemini. She said, y'all, I'm checking, uh, but for real, for real. <laughs> Have y'all had a dude say that I want you to have my baby while he was in you? Child I stopped I'm talking you. to a motherfucker because of that shit. Child, I'm we, we just said it. That's that's you. like, don't tell me no shit like that. That is automatic. Get the, fuck up. Get the right. fuck up. Get the fuck up. Because I'm saying nah. no, I'm just... because no, nah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I am 36, <laughs> no kids, no abortions, and I'm planning on staying that. You said you're 36, no kids. Oh, I'm saying, I'm saying it right now. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Like, yeah, so you're a weird, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so, you out? You don't say that again at all. No, what? It's like a. Why? It's like a. Yeah, that's some weird like shit. What you mean, yeah. like, while eating her out, Travis? No, is that, is that what the comment said? That no. The dude said that while he was eating her out? No. No, oh, oh, no, 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 okay. no, no, no. Yeah, that, no, that's some weird shit. <laughs> because that would be like a cemetery. Look. Like, why would you be, <laughs> why would you be talking to him? Why would you be Get talking to him? Because abortion. That's like, that's like. Vagina. Cemetery. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 I mean, no, like, no, if, 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 <laughs> if he, if he says that, why? Why did you say that out here? <laughs> oh. Why did you say that out here? He didn't say anything. He didn't say anything. No. no. So, I, like, if you eat me out and you say some shit like that, like, you talking to me, you say some shit like that, that I would really believe that you really love what you're probably so, eating right now. Because so you that's, are in that pussy. Yeah, you like, are, god damn. Yeah. You know, fuck. You know, this taste, one of the stink. Yeah, this tastes good. Oh, my god. Um, wait, did that she happen? said, while in ecstasy, I'll sell a motherfucker a dream. Right. Sell it. I, like Shamika, what do you mean? Like sell him a dream? Like would you? Like yes, daddy. Like Baby, this pussy's yours. You. This your pussy. I love you. This dick is mine. I want to have your Why baby. You all the all, <laughs> so, all of that will sell your ass a goddamn dream, <laughs> make, and make you think you got the biggest dick in this world. What's the, what's the and to fuck is harder. Like, God damn it, she said she fucking want this, this, too. this um, she said she mm, want okay. this motherfucker. Uh, 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 um, okay, I'm yeah. Off of <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to go ahead and switch it on up to the next topic. Everybody got it out. It seems like that a lot of females like being talked to um, while having sex. They don't care if they, you know, I got you. But the whole thing is, is that. I never cried during sex, not that I can remember. If it is, I don't think it was like on that level. Maybe it was some shit that I found out I was mad and I'm fucking him now and I said I ain't gonna fuck him and here I am crying some type of shit. But no, um, no. Um, okay. So <laughs> on to the next topic. Okay. So and <laughs> Antonio, so what do you mean by that's a double standard? And um, Stephanie Dawkins said, I had a man to tell me that he would demolish my family if I ever gave his pussy to any other man. And we wasn't even to get the de de Demo demolish. Did he use that word? De de demolish. demolish. Run. No, like run. <laughs> run. Run. <laughs> Expeditiously. Run, run, run! That dem I'm stuck on demolish. demolish. <laughs> Wait, call that motherfucker a whooping cough because he just devastated the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Why you in there? Walk away! <laughs> <laughs> what? Dem what? Wait a minute! I had a man to tell me that he would demolish my family. If I ever gave his pussy to any other man and we wasn't even So which together. family was that? Because you know, we cousins. So was he talking about like your immediate family or like your whole family? Did, I mean, maybe, he, maybe, <laughs> and, she, maybe she's and, and Antonio him. said because she said she'll sell a dream. She said she want to have your baby. Huh. Oh, okay. Yeah, that is double standards. Um, as far as with her selling dream and her telling you that you want to have a baby, but if the dude said it, it's just like uh uh like you better not let him meet you. Tell you I, I don't want to have no motherfucker. I want to have your baby. Okay, I am not Beyonce in uh, Dream Girls. I, I want to have your child. 
Girls say that shit. Girls say what? Some girls say that. Do you want to have your baby? When y'all uh, born? Yeah. I want to have your child. <laughs> I ain't never. You being ever. Ever. Some women ever. That, like, it's some women that think Y'all need to stop fucking them right then. For real. And, and because that bitch crazy. She crazy. Because I never. And, and that's how a lot of y'all niggas get put on child support. Because y'all right. keep fucking. I agree. Y'all keep fucking. Agree. Y'all keep fucking. Y'all keep fucking. Y'all keep fucking. I agree with that. That's true. Mm-mm. <laughs> That's true. Mm -mm. And I'm sorry for y'all niggas. Stephanie said to my he never specified. Well, I'm I'm glad that you're not into that. You know, whatever. Um and because <laughs> I asked he the whole family was, did already. he say immediate family or like the whole family? Oh, because we're cousins. Well, shit, I take that as a threat. <laughs> <laughs> Just across the right, especially when he said demolish. Like a scene from Law and Order. I'm to demolish. <laughs> 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 Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go on to the next topic, being that, you know, we're in the mood of wanting to talk about this type of things. Um, So, again, so it was either like this week or last week or maybe the week before. Who knows? I, I probably forgot. Anyway, however, I still remember the question. Um, someone in the group had, in the group, which is Conversations with Glow on Facebook, mm -hmm. um... Somebody had posted, it was like, so it was like, I guess it was a post from Twitter, but they posted in the group. It says, because of a nigga take you on a vacation, y'all got to fuck. Oh, Goddamn yeah. right you do. Now. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on, wait a minute. 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 Okay. So my response, my response was, duh. Yo, that shit you said. Okay, so <laughs> my response was, "Duh, why wouldn't I have sex with the man that is taking me on vacation? Isn't that what vacation is for?" Some people in the group like had different opinions um, about the post. Some I, I actually laughed at this. Um, someone said it said you don't have to have sex unless you go when your period is on, or whatever. Like. You know, like, treat the Gucci, uh, you know, can't do it, uh, you know, we still want to go, but, you know, I'm on my period. However, Somebody else. me personally, I actually had, I actually heard a story today, um, about someone's niece that, um, <coughs> her, her niece, her niece met someone and, um, they took her across country as, like, a friend thing like they never had any intercourse like he was a man she you know she's a woman and they never had any intercourse or anything like that so i did read in the comments where some females actually had people to take them on like you know we're just friends type type of vacations that's what's up. okay and that's fine that is what's up me personally excuse me um i wouldn't want to go on vacation that I couldn't fuck. And the reason why I say that is because I drink alcohol. And sometimes I know how I get when I drink alcohol. Thank you. So, it's just like, why would I... I'd be... <laughs> I mean, I understand what people came from. Was like some people was like, "Oh wow, you know, y'all ain't never had any any man take you y'all take y'all just on like a friendship vacation, this and that and third." Understandable because y'all have that understanding already that y'all are friends. However, again, my opinion, I'm not going on vacation with a man that I can't fuck. I don't think any right here. Damn. I think all I four of us. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. I think we all agree with. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Ain't nothing to talk about. Nope. I am not I'm going this. anywhere with a man that I don't find physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally attractive. Thank you. Okay, that's number one. You know, like people. Um, there was uh this this story about this girl who, um, she went uh got flewed out somewhere um are you talking so, about the post you posted 
I think it was. About yeah. when her went to Miami for the Super Bowl? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna let you finish. And she um went to go meet this guy. This guy was sitting up here spending all kinds of money on her, doing this, that, and the third, da 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 da. Um, paid for the entire trip, her food, lodging, everything. Paid for everything. And at the end of the vacation, he was looking for some pussy. Okay? And she was like, oh no. So, what did he do? He took that goddamn return ticket back. And she was stuck. So, it's okay for you to reap the benefits of potential dick. Potential pussy. Whatever. It's okay for you to reap those benefits, but it's not okay for you to actually do it. Right. Bitch, you better bust it open for a real nigga. Right. Like, you better bust it open. Like, bitch, you know what the fuck he brought you down there for. I would like, like to hear from somebody that thinks that way. I would like to hear from, from a woman that thinks that it's okay to not fuck. Oh, sure. No, okay. no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, hold on. you would have to go find that. No, it's the post that I'm talking about right now. You actually have some women that's yeah, not going to bust it open. They, okay. they actually have those friends that women, take them out on those days. Those those women I can will point you never. Direction. You will never get your taxes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Oh. 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 Speaking of which, this is bad. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let them. I'm gonna let the men answer. Um, right after I read the comments. So just going back on with the comments, I got people that is agreeing with me. Um, Shamika Butler was like, I agree. What you here for? Uh, what you here for? I. <laughs> she said, I. Um, Latoya McBell, she said, if I'm going out of town with the men, I'm busting it open. Period. For a real nigga. For a motherfucking. For a. He got real nigga. That nigga just took me out of town. Real nigga. Real nigga. So does the location so, or anything like that matter? I mean, like, what you if, ain't about to take me to Atlanta. A, what, what if he, what if he flies you out? <laughs> flewed. Flewed you out. The correct tonight. word is flewed. What if he flew you to Columbia? <laughs> he flew <laughs> you down the street. If, like, if, on the, on if, the, lo the hotel y'all stayed at, the, the, sucked, the, the location like absolutely matters. But, 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 but this particular situation, this bitch got flewed out. To the Super Bowl. She went to the Super Bowl. Okay, that's that situation. I'm she was bro, at the Super Bowl said, parties. You got flew out. <laughs> okay, so now I'm I'm, I'm Okay, dying. what's your opinion about it, Travis? I'm and I, I agree with it. Like I don't believe that uh, I believe if I'm doing all this, you know, a woman's gonna want to fuck like I'm dealing with a woman that's gonna want to have sex with me. But right. what I what I was about to get at is dissecting it to the point to where where for women is there a line of how Therefore. good yeah, no, I'm asking, is how good that vacation is. Right. If it's a sucky like, hotel, if, it's, if we're going to, like, nigga, down the fucking street. Nigga, if I am at you know, the Super Bowl. Nigga, that's Wait one minute. situation. We said, that's we, one, going, I'm we about. taking you to Myrtle Beach and you busting it open for me. I am not busting it open for no nigga at no goddamn so Myrtle Beach. So, you, so basically what I'm asking, no. and so what you're saying is that it depends on what type of vacation it is. Just I don't know. If it's at Myrtle Beach, I still might bust it open. I mean, it's a vacation. I don't got no kids with me. We on a beach. You know, like I said, it's... I mean, <laughs> and, and that's my but, point. My like question is, but I ain't about to bust it open in Atlanta. I mean, that's a two-hour drive. Yeah, I ain't get flew out nowhere. But Myrtle Beach is so out. Out Why not? Okay, I'll give you Myrtle Beach, but it better what? be a damn nice hotel. Why? It, yeah. it, why does that be a nice hotel? Why? I'm asking. Why does that be a nice hotel? Why can't it be an average one or a Motel 6? He blew you out. You having a good time? You had a bit of sleep then? You right. First of all, I ain't get flewed out to Myrtle Beach. A cabin in Anderson, what about that? A cabin in Anderson? <laughs> Man, right you, the, you fuck those cheap holes. Right by the water. Um, <laughs> right by the water. So, right, right um, the nigga said by the water. The nigga said by the water. In Anderson. For real. Like, about it's a vacation. Yeah, I mean, like. Yeah, I, I mean, but it depends I, for me. I mean. Like it just depends. I, I mean, mean, I mean, I understand where you going because uh, Atlanta is only two hours. We could have stayed at home, and I probably would have busted it open for you. You know. However, you know it. It like I I agree with you, Ad. It it really does <laughs> depends on where we're going. Yeah. But yeah. if we're taking a four hour drive down to 
Myrtle Beach and I've been drinking, you know, it might, ain't no telling, you know, or, Dang. you know, I might just be in the mood, you know, ain't no telling. I mean, but see, this is the thing, though. If, <laughs> I mean, if I'm going out of town with you anyway, I, I have a level of comfort with you, which means that I probably right. don't already fucked you. Right. I probably don't already fucked you, which means that I'm going to bust it over regardless. So That's what I'm saying. Place. Like, I, you know, either... You gonna take me out, and you, you know, I have to been test the waters first before we actually go out of town because I'm not going out of town with no weak ass nigga. Boy, it? if that dick come back, oh no shit, girl, girl, hold on, girl, who? If that's the first time that you go out, okay, the oh shit, if if ooh, what? woo, okay, if <laughs> if that is like. <laughs> Like, because my Spit body is, like, fucking revolting right now just thinking about this shit. If that's your first time going out on vacation and you ain't had that dick before, what if that dick is trash when you get on vacation? I mean, yeah, that's, a, that's, that's either way. Okay. Well, it could be trash. Look, trash, look. I'm just, oh, my God. But what if the coochie trash? Then what, what, what you want me to do, put you in the trash can? Oh, well, I don't have that problem, so I don't know what you're talking about. See, that's what I'm saying. So, if it is trash, that's up to you to decide whether or not we want to do whatever. <laughs> that's, that's, a whole, that's a whole other conversation. Yes, it is. Who, who so, we're going to... Right. Is that what I'm saying? Right. Right. So, we're going to go ahead and go into the comments. Um, John Jetson says, Super Bowl tickets, at least 5K a piece. Right. So, she... She knew, like, bitch, you couldn't even figure out whether or not if this was a free ride so you can go goddamn go see them play. Oh, bitch, I'm in Miami, you know, blah, blah, blah. She no, thought that you she was about to get, yeah, get, like, get one of them players. Right. Like, you can't do that. Like, you, no, you cannot do that. And Jason said, um, it's like this. You don't have to fuck, but you also don't have to go. 99% of men don't look at a woman like, I want her to be my platonic friend men want to fuck he might not press the issue but they want to fuck you got some men that play the long game and might wait years to try and y'all think he is just a great friend nah that's a patient motherfucker with other options <laughs> you hit that shit you know what jason you <laughs> You and, you and John need to talk because John Johnson really thinks the same way. He Jason thinks that, that motherfucker. Chevy. He thinks the, the same way. Seriously. That like, motherfucker hit her. Boop. Right on the head. Right. Antonio said, Glow really spoke. Well, she said, Right. Cheap, cheap. Um, hey, don't do me. <laughs> um, Toya said, Latoya McBell said, She said, I ain't busting it open in no Motel 6. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the way I bullshit that new Motel 6 though is, That bar That Motel 6 yeah. um, Antonio way. also said He said and if you going out of town with me I'm getting my dick sucked on the way there Yep if the pussy trash We eat in continental um, Continental <laughs> breakfast Oh okay um, Stephanie Dawkins said Bottom line is If you are comfortable with going out of town With a man alone for whatever reason Best believe in the back of your mind You're wondering What this, what the dick in mouth feel like You're damn right Damn y'all Um, Guys <laughs> Lush yes! <laughs> said Going to be a rap once we get back And he better have an awesome tone so basically you're saying like if the dick is trash like if you never fucked him and you went out of town and you found out that the dick is trash he better have a good mouth understandable but still the dick he, he, you gotta bring the dick too okay that, um, and, and, and that's the reason why you can't go out of town with somebody you ain't never fucked that you before. ain't never fucked before right what if you meet somebody from out of town like you're in a long distance relationship and they actually like flying you I don't believe in those time. some people do some people I, do I personally don't I've, I've experienced too many ones that's fair because there are people that's, out there that have. I feel, I'm not every person. There's some people that's right. actually dealt with long distance already dealing with one right now. Right. And so they, they fly each other out, you know, and, and like, hey, let no, me no, see you. No, I'm not saying you. that's me. I'm just saying I, didn't, I, know, I know what you're talking about. Because, it's, it's, because you because live long distance. Through, that means so somebody's not going through it. Okay. And Shantae James said, depends on the one. effort put <laughs> into the trip. But I'm not <laughs> going on no trip if we are not already established a vibe, though. Wayman said, hey, Wayman. Hey, um, Wayman. <laughs> if it's trash, sprinkle some Emerald City dust on it and have at it. <laughs> you already you already out of town. Don't spoil the whole trip. 
<laughs> like shit. No, I'm no. getting ready to get down on my knees and I'm just gonna pray to God. Please, God, let this pussy be some good. I didn't bring this bitch all the way out here for it to be trash. Mm. Amen. God, I'd be so mad. <laughs> I'd be so goddamn mad. <laughs> oh, shit. But, Chezo, how you feel about it, though? Like, if you... Like, you you taking somebody out of town, so if, if that's the point of you, would you actually take a female on a vacation just on friend-type level? Like, would that be you? No, uh, I can't do it. So, it's like you already had to have established something with her before... You take her out of town. Right. So basically, I'm, I'm, I'm. This is a guesstimate, but majority of men say, if I'm taking you out of town, even if I don't get the pussy in, I spit the pussy later. I spit it in. I mean, no, but because no, I like I said, you got some of these women that <laughs> are saying I mean, that they have had men that took them out of town and they never asked for anything. But that's probably because they on a friendly. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, because we're just friends. I at the end of the day, like I said, I don't want to go out of town on no just friends. That's when you take more than one. That's when you take more than one person with you. That's I've, I've you, been on. I've been on. I've been out with a woman. Now we were we weren't dating. We were talking for more more or less, and she took me out to or we, we went to Charlotte together. So I was going to get something. Good. I didn't. Oh. We went to Baltimore and together. <laughs> We went out to the club, dr drunk, danced, and had a great time. Came back to the hotel, didn't do anything. I wanted to. There's never a time that I didn't want to. And she knew it, but we didn't do anything. Eventually, this woman became, you know, a girlfriend. And after we broke up, because, you know, that shit didn't last long. So, right. what ended up happening, having a conversation with her afterwards. Sorry. Having a conversation, Auntie? Well, uh, after <laughs> a conversation with her afterwards. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, okay. I was like, why? She was like, yeah, I knew you wanted to fuck back in Baltimore. I was like, why didn't you? Well, because I didn't want you to think I was that easy. <laughs> Bitch, we in Baltimore. We drove Man, it is 2020. Here. Oh, okay. y'all drove? Yeah. Well, oh, she did. She drove. Tripping, tripping. But, I mean, the it fact that we fucking... came out here, we was out here for a few days, and it was like work slash personal kind of situation. It is fucking 2020, and, yeah. and people, like, really need to get out of the whole mindset of... Oh well, I can't fuck on the first date. Oh well, oh, I can't do this and I can't do that because he's gonna think that I'm this, that, and the third. Bitches and niggas is gonna think that you anything, oh, any that. goddamn way. Ninety five percent of the time, before we have sex, how I act is gonna be a lie anyway. All right. True. And, and when I, after we have sex, that's when you gonna see if I tr if I if I act right or if I act wrong. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think that just I don't think that just you though. I think females are the same. I am. Females are the same way. <laughs> everybody I mean, got an angle. Every, right, everybody does have everybody. I am a angle. good Christian woman. Oh, yes, no. what a holy oil. Ha, but, the holy, blessed the Heavenly holy Father, oil. okay? I oil. am a Christian woman. You heard it? The holy oil. That's the I don't holy do that shit. That's that's holy that holy that holy is holy. not the Lord. Candace, I am on a podcast right now, okay? Yeah, because I know you're watching. I know. So, there we go. Okay. So, yeah, so, um, Travis mentioned, and you can correct me because I don't want to get your words messed up, but you mentioned, you said that the first time that I take you out or the first time that you meet me, it's a lie anyway. Chances are. Chances that, are that yeah. it's a lie. Ch chances, and when I say lie, this is. You gotta understand when I say yeah, men, is, men, men lie more in their actions <laughs> more than they do in their words. My point is that okay, well, if, and and you're gonna be mad at this, but I mean guys will be I'm like be you mad. know, and some some women will. So like hey, you know, hey, what's, what's, what's your sign? When's your birthday? You know, what what how how old are you? Really deep down, men don't give a shit <laughs> about none of that. All right, I'm just trying to sit here and figure out why you just still have your clothes on. All right, that's what I'm trying to figure out. You know, I know, yeah, we just met, but you know. So, <laughs> you know, so <laughs> but that's the whole. But that's thing, true. That first part of it, when I meet you, I'm giving you all this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? To caveat off of that, women only, only act the way that they do because they are concerned with the way that women are going to portray them, not men. 
Men don't give a good goddamn whether or not you fucked them on the first night, the second no. night, the third night, the fourth night. It's I'm what that homegirl's gonna say. It's bitch, what your girls him. are gonna say. You it's fuck him on the first night. Say. Yeah, bitch, I, I popped the pussy. Uh, duh, like, I don't ask that shit over for a real nigga, okay? But to get back to what. The same friend that's doing the same thing. She just ain't telling But she just ain't telling. Right. So, to get back to what Travis was saying, and I know that I've talked about this several times on many occasions, and I remember me and John having this conversation, me and Blake having this conversation. I remember, you know, us, Pablo, like, us having these conversations, and it's just like, he said, it's a possibility when you meet me, everything is going to be a lie. Why? I'm not saying, again, I'm going to repeat what I said once before. I'm not saying, oh, give me a whole lifeline. But give me an option for me to choose. Like, don't tell... Shit. Um, <laughs> don't that, tell me... That way, right, right there. Don't tell me... I, I, you know, I don't even want you to continue. I want you to read that. Okay, so... Um, Eddie, you want me to get to the comments? Because it gets steamy. Okay. <laughs> So, um, Walena Vance, hey, Auntie. Um, she said, um, the first, both of y'all telling lies. That's why you don't give up the goodies the first time. But, hey, um, I guess I'm old school. And that's fine, Auntie. Like, you can, trust me, you can definitely keep it old school. But I'm not saying that I give it up on the first night. That's not the type of person that I am. However... <laughs> If I am feeling that person, we have been communicating, FaceTiming, all that good stuff, and we go out for the first and built time, a and we have built that relationship, right. I'm fucking. I Sorry about the language, I but I'm, I'm, I'm going to side of the fence without all that. But I'm, I'm just going to have to do what I got to do, and, 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 and it's real. So Luscious said, that, that but back in the that. days, I was yeah. different. And when my husband shot his shot with me, he said that's why he fell in love with me because I didn't give in on the first day and give him pussy. But now, fuck that. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> but now, fuck that shit. I'm single again. And <laughs> I should have read your shit. No, I already knew no. It was coming to she that. can't be trusted. <laughs> she can't be trusted. And if I'm feeling so and the feeling is mutual we fucking but these days it's scary as fuck out here because some niggas are down low hold on because oh, you already know that i was gonna stop right there as soon as i saw the word down low okay yeah, we are really okay so, and john let hold on wait i'm gonna get this last comment in i'm gonna let ad say what she gotta say john justice said it's a dance men and women must play Women got to get a sense that you are someone they are comfortable with and you have to reassure them through meaningless conversations. That's the lie. Is so, so, so listen. Okay. So, if anybody is friends right. with me on Facebook that's on here, mm -hmm. you saw my post last night, right? And I was at uh, 1243, which, by the way, bomb. Don't Love hurt it. them, AD. Don't hurt them. Right? Don't Love it. Too much. So... Um, so I was up at the bar and, um, there was this guy, he's a very popular guy. I don't know what his name is. So please, please stop inboxing me, asking me what his name is. I really don't know. But she okay. said, yeah, AD, I think I'm close to solving the mystery too. Bitch, get in my inbox. Get in my inbox. Cause I need to know his name. But I need to know his finish name. Finish the story. Okay. Finish. So so I was at the bar and I was at the bar and I was at Right, so I'm on my phone and I'm just sitting here like this. So he's right here, and I'm looking at his phone, but I'm pretending that I'm on my phone because I'm nosy, right? And he was texting some dude named Nick saying, Hey, are you gonna be up later? Nick says, Yes, I should be. Just call me when when you get finished. And he was like, Yeah, because I'm gonna come through and I'm gonna slide some D your way. Okay, we all know what D is. D ain't weed. D ain't the hard. It ain't the soft. It's sour diesel. It is sour dick. <laughs> it's sour dick. Okay? Now, this gentleman is very tall, very attractive, very popular. I've seen him anytime I go out somewhere. I always see him. He got a, a, a salt and pepper beard. Okay? I don't, I don't know what the fuck the nigga's name is. 
Um, Cause I don't know Listen. no fucking body Listen. in Greenville. Anyway, lived here most of my life. Don't fucking know nobody. Whatever case may be. Anyway, my point is, is that these niggas. Mm. It sound like somebody I don't think somebody. Oh y'all go ahead. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm not. I'm oh not no, nigga, you need to let me see your phone. <laughs> I need to see but mind. anyway, she's getting to the point like these niggas out here down low and still trying to fuck bitches. Right. So, yeah, that's the bull. so what I'm saying is as, as progressive as we have become as a people, as progressive as we have become, hashtag Zaya, okay? As progressive as, as, as we have become, you can come out. Just let us know. You don't have to hide that shit because when you start hiding that shit and I find out. That's when shit gets serious. That's when shit gets serious. And that's the reason why. Did you hear about the girl that got killed because she outed this dude? Yeah. You heard about that? Mm-hmm. And it was in some obscure ass place like in Kentucky or some shit, well, right? I don't know about you. And chick, huh? don't be doing shit that you don't got no motherfucking business right. doing. So, and you won't get outed. Right. I mean, I, true enough, you know, I felt like, you know, in that situation, she shouldn't have done that, not knowing what his mind men- right. mentality is. Right, I was going to say that. However, hold on. don't be doing shit you don't right. got no business doing, right. especially if you know you got a girlfriend, bro. Right, so, so just to give, like, a, a little bit of background, there was this guy, he was super popular in the area that they lived in. And the girl had been over there doing some business with him. Wink, wink. And um, (laughs) she had come back over because she left her phone. And when she came back over, she caught the dude and his cousin in a very compromising situation, (laughs) if you understand what I'm saying. Right? Okay. And when she caught them, um, they threatened her life. And boom, bam, pow... She's dead. Like it was like the 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 same day or or like the next day or something. Yeah, they crashed into her car. Like yeah. they made her have a yeah. wreck. Yeah, yeah, but they she got was already car. shot though. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know she was already yeah. shot. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah they shot in the face, right? Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Um, because I mean, for all intents and purposes, she asked. She she told him, you know, hey, like you need to give me five bands for me not to tell anybody about this. And why would you say that shit? And then it's she got on live. And then when she got on live and, and yeah, she malicious intent. exposed everything. And when she exposed it. Looking for a come on. Yeah, so she it's, was gone. And it's she was gone. gone. Like, like And I, y'all motherfuckers sitting up here asking me who it was and sitting up here wanting a name. Bitch, I ain't trying to die. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Well, actually, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so John Johnson <laughs> said, What's done in the dark will come to the light. So extortion tactics backfire. It definitely did backfire. And what's oh. done in the dark will definitely come to light. Um and it <laughs> it it did backfire. However, I just feel like that, you know, if if it's anything in that situation, I I feel as if like that's something that you shouldn't hide. Um, that's something that you should want to come out, you know, and tell folks. Like, I just don't understand. What nobody you're don't have with. time to be going around right, here, even though you should be using protection. Mm-hmm. Nobody don't have time to be going around here and funny. trying to figure out what's going on. Nobody like that's it's it's too much and shit like that would really get you killed for real. Um, and Murph. it's a lot of down low ass people around, and it's not fair. It's not fair to the women out here, you know. And I feel like that if you're if you are that way, like just be real, well, like don't hide anything. I'm not like I said, like I was saying, like don't. I'm not asking for your full detail of your whole life. Like just give me the basics. Like just don't hide anything because if you don't fuck the nigga, let me wait, wait, know that you don't fuck the nigga. And that and that's I was about to play devil's advocate for a second. Because let's take the equation out of the fact that it's a, uh, say you're fucking around with a guy, all right? You're not going to ask him 
who he's had sex with before. Because y'all don't, don't ask that. That's right? not my business. Yeah, it's right. It's, none, it's none of your business who I've had it's sex with before. It's none of my business. But so it, why does it matter if it's a man or a woman? And I'm, I'm, just, I'm, I'm only advocating for those gay, gay guys that, that feel that way. And there are women that feel the same way. That women that will have sex with other women, but not tell the guy but that see, they have the sex thing. with other women. Mm -hmm. Society tells us that it's okay for women to have sex with women. Some some okay. some parts of society, not all in general. There are some parts of society that doesn't okay, think that's but, okay. Uh, but those same parts of society that doesn't think that it's okay for women to have sex with women are also the ones that call masturbation self rape. <laughs> Same people. I knew you were going to right? say something similar so, like that. You, you are arguing the point. But but your point is, is that it's more acceptable for women to be with women than men to be with men is what you're trying to that's say. Just that's just norm. what society says and that's just society. Well, society because it's, it's, it's the, just the norm. Earth. It's, 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 Earth. Just, it's out Earth. here. Come on. Earth. It's just like, uh, like you hear a man on men. Oh, ew, that's nasty. But you mm -hmm. hear uh, 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 even a female saying, oh, you know, she for that no. bitch. I wonder how it was. It's, like you know, that's it's it's just society. And I'm that same way. I'm just I'm just arguing for those people that feel that don't feel that same way. There's some people that don't feel that way. Some why? It's because everybody has a voice. That's everyone why. does. Everyone does. And to You're the right. comments, Shamika Butler said, "I know of a dude that was locked up in jail, being a bottom, got out, and not six months had passed. He had babies on the he had babies on the way. See, huh? He was in jail, being a punk." He got out six months. He passed away, but he had babies on the way. So that's why I don't fuck See? jail dick. She <laughs> also <laughs> that's why I don't fuck She jail also dick. said it's both right the truth. But it ain't all just jail though. Oh yeah, I was waiting for. It. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I it, was mean, like, it was like nigga, like, why are you here? I was, Continue. I was, like, I, was, I was in job court. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. A lot of that shit happens in job court. I got a homeboy, I ain't gonna tell his real name. The guy used to, we used to call him C Murphy. Well, you yeah, told his nickname. He don't know who. He probably don't see this. You know what I'm saying? But okay, so his, his name was C Murphy. Everybody was scared of him. That was my homie. You know what I'm saying? One night I told my man, because it, it was all from, they had mostly people from Greenville, or well, from South Carolina, North Carolina, and Florida. You know what I'm saying? We was in Kentucky. I told my man, I was like, Hey, go tell C Murder uh, to bring me a black and bring me a lighter. And he was like, man, you go tell him, man, he getting to sleep, I ain't got time to mess with that man. I mean, y'all, let this boy just punk y'all, man. All right, forget it. I'm, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go get him. So I went in their room. I'm like, hey, man, get up. I snatched the cover back. And this dude, he was lit. He was a gay dude. And this dude from Greenville, I ain't going to say his name either. Yeah, you know I mean, this, it, give us nicknames. I mean, like you give me nicknames. Don't nah, don't get no nicknames on here, cause I don't know why. I don't want no problem. Be mad. I don't got a nickname for him. You know what I'm saying? But he he a gay dude, and he was like, they was in the bed together. My boy was like <laughs> on his chest when I froze down. He was he was laid up on his chest. I was like, damn. I, I walked out the room. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me demonstrate. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. So he's like this? Hell no. Nah. They were more like, he was more like on his chest. He was in, he was laying on this, on top of this man. On top so, of him. You know what I mean? I, I'm, oh, so he like Yeah, that. right. <laughs> like on top of him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm like, oh shit. You know what I'm saying? I pulled the, pulled the cover back over. Don't ask me to regret it. I'm talking about my energetics. You know what I'm saying? Out, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> when I walked out, somebody else went in. It was like, oh, they, they just start calling people like, hey, man, the dude. And this man had a girl, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so, he had a girlfriend. Yeah, and they just made everything. I'm going to treat him. People who were scared of him, were not scared of him no more, you know what I'm saying? We're they, dipping into the cheating aspect thing. No. Yeah, wait a minute. Before we even creep down into that memory lane, okay? Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, so Shamika Butler said, expose the truth, but not to hurt anyone. I definitely agree. The, the, the truth just, I, I, like I said, don't give me a whole full life story, but goddamn it, nigga, give me what I need to know. If you don't fuck to um, nigga, you need to disclose that information. Exactly. Just um, period, bottom line. Monica. Period. Poo. Is that what they say? Yeah, that's what yeah. you were saying. Yeah. That's what they say. Yeah. Uh, period. 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 
long, period. Okay. Two. <laughs> and these motherfuckers, well, I'm sorry. Monica said, and these motherfuckers need to be real with themselves. They think just because um they only suck three dicks. Three. They're not. <laughs> three. Maybe. All right, thanks. Three. Thank. <laughs> <laughs> three, wait, wait, wait. You know that first one. You know is a freebie. Is a tail <laughs> Because Tank said it. Tank said it. What? Because Tank said it. He said just because one time I suck dick doesn't mean he I'm gay. He said he had to do it twice and then that's a tail You had to do it twice. That's a tail You know that first one is a tail So um, Antonio said if a woman say she slept with another woman, I want a threesome ASAP. You want me one? Um, Lushy said it is, but she said it is, but a man can't come back from that. You're absolutely Fact. right. It's that right. part. Right. Once right. I know that you done fucked a nigga, you always fuck niggas. Oh, man, that's messed right. up. Right. Hold on, wait a minute. Man, no, coming back. No, 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 no. I, I know no. a dude. No, 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 I actually know somebody that got called out by somebody a couple of years ago. I like, I feel like Chizzo, I ain't gonna drop no names, but everybody that, that was on Facebook at the time know exactly why and I, I know what I'm talking, talking about. about. Yeah. The motherfucker mm -hmm. got called out by a gay dude. Mm -hmm. Okay? Had screenshots, everything, receipts, all. Do you hear me? Mm hmm. The motherfucker got down. I felt like they probably came back from it because if I look they at his Instagram, wait, 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 wait. If I when I look at his Instagram, he done had like like he has a girlfriend and mm -hmm. and he has a no. baby and I'm just yeah. like, no, nigga, you gay. Like you, I mean, you no, 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 in the back. No, 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 no. And I guarantee you, and I guarantee you, that bitch ain't from here. She ain't from here. <laughs> so she ain't, she ain't from here. And she don't know nobody from here. But not just that, though. I'm saying I know a person, like, seriously, right now, who said they done with that. You know what I'm saying? Say he ain't. No Why do you done. look like you about to rob a store? Who? You. So, <laughs> and, and, and again, play, again, playing devil's advocate. So, you're saying that if you did something in the past that you can't change to the point to where you're always that, that, uh, you're always that person? Like if you robbed a store when you were <laughs> 19 years old, you're it's on your background. A robber. You're always it's on your background. Be, you're always gonna be and a robber. So you're always gonna hold me. So I. So so if the only thing that I have to go on is so so, okay. You're so hold on, hold on, hold on. So uh, so 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 so. Go ahead. Travis and I, we're in human resources, right? Mm -hmm. We're recruiters, right? Okay. So if if the only thing that I have to go on for you as a person is your background, okay? And I see that you're a kidnapper. I see that you're a murderer. I see that you rob banks. I see that you have multiple CDVs. I see that you are a prostitute. I see this, that, and third, and fourth, and the 16th, whatever the case may be. That's what I have to go off of, right? So that's how I have to judge you. If if I see that you are a child molester, that's what I'm going to judge you as. A child molester. So, that's just bottom line. So, so if, if, if I know that you have fucked another man, if I know that you have fucked another man, literally. you have fucked another man, you Bad have bang. sucked another man's dick, or you have had a man that has sucked your dick, and oh, I know Lord. this. That's what the fuck I have to go off of. Right. And like you Latoya see the correlation said. There? Right. Uh, and Latoya oh, said, yeah. Latoya McBeth said, you don't just take dick for years and randomly wake up one day like, nah, I'm I'm done. Yeah, like, you know what? This, this, I want some pussy. This ain't it. Bullshit. This ain't it. I want some pussy back. Nigga, you, man, you man, still man, got man. shit sucking the creases of your dick. It's double so, standard. You, Travis, oh, you, so you I'm still have that, shit that's, 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 that's in the matter. creases of your dick. Oh my God. So, no, I'm not fucking with you. So, okay, all I'm going to say okay. in regards to what she said in regards to the human resources and somebody's background. All right. So, one. You can always change. You're not always your background. A lot of people with bad You can't unfuck dick. You're, you're absolutely right. But you, you can, can move on from it. Right, all right? You, you can, can move, you can move on from it. It's seven years. Just like credit. 
<laughs> and but you know, then, but you, you know what? You but that's keep, only for keep, women. You want to keep that? You want to keep that analogy? You want to keep that analogy? I didn't have a background check at all when I was at Country Fresh, and I had some of the best employees that you ever came across. I didn't even have to check their background. But and they so were still sucking dick. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it is what it is. Like it, right, it's. Check this out, though. Go ahead. Because I mean, it's a lot of. <laughs> It's a lot of people out there who do, who sell dope, who sold dope, right? Mm-hmm. All right. So what about this? They ain't never been arrested. They went to. They were never caught. Right. They, but they still sell dope, so it doesn't matter. But if they ain't never been arrested, how you even gonna know that I sell dope? Exactly. Because we all know the dope dealers. We all don't know all no, dope you dealers. Don't know all no, dope dealers. you don't know all. Get the fuck out of here. You really don't. So I guess I, I ain't never came across you. <laughs> but I get what his point is. You know, some, some I mean, like, I can get your point, but. I, I just, okay, let me just say this. But what just, I'm saying is, is the bottom line is this. We all done did some wrong shit and ain't got caught for it. You ever fuck your niggas? Hell, hey, motherfucker, no. All right, then. <laughs> From a point. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and shift it on over. We just definitely, uh, like I said, um. <clears throat> The, the last topic is don't fuck it's just no like, niggas. If you gonna be taking, you know, out, you know, don't fuck no niggas. Oh, if a man God. gonna take you out on vacation, make sure that it's someone that you have been involved with. Okay. Boy, yo, Simple okay. as that. So while we were um, amongst each other discussing like topics, um, Travis came up and he said. Oh, okay. John said if they never been caught, yeah, then it don't know. count. It yeah, is what he is saying. I mean, yeah, if they ain't never been caught. It, right, we said that if they ain't never been caught. Sir. It's not on the record, so I can't judge you that you sell drugs. If it's not on your record, I can't look at you and be like, oh, you sell drugs if I don't see it. So, right. However, um, Travis asked the question and basically I just want to know whether or not if it's true and I'm going to allow for Travis to explain it because he you know let me trade um, with Travis because he uh, needs to be up front with I'm this no, I'm no. Let, me, no. let him sit right there okay so I reverted what he asked but I asked is it true that women are not lovable they're leavable so can you, you can you tell them what what you mean by that? So that came from a thought process that I had back in the day. All right, after after I got divorced back in whew, another, another a lifetime ago. All right, uh, there was a thought process that went through my head when I became I went through a lot of misogyny. I went through a lot of women hating. I, I was I was literally I hated women. I I was like I was a card carrier. B- bitches what? What? No, I was mad a lot it's when it comes to women. And changed. so what happened <laughs> is that I became, I, I developed a philosophy behind, and a lot of people may have never seen the movie Heat, all right? Robert De Niro had a line in there that where you don't ever get mixed up with anything that you can't leave in 30 seconds or less, mm-hmm. all right? So, and, and, and it's a euphemism. It's not saying that literally 30 seconds. All right. It's just a matter of like if I was with a girl and she decided to leave me. All right, I, I am with a girl. Like my my girl, I love my girl very much. Hey, so with that, hey, what, Nina! <laughs> what I'm saying is that <laughs> we love you. With, with a woman, if she if she tells me, hey, you know, I'm gonna leave me, just leave me. I don't want to play the game. Don't sit here in a situation where you're gonna think about leaving me. Like yo, if you don't get straight, if you don't get to do this, do this, I'm gonna leave you. Just leave me. Right. Don't play the fucking game. There's no need for that. And ultimatums do not work, all right? So when I say uh, not lovable, they're leavable, is what I'm saying is just that's where I want men to get to a point to where you have to understand, don't be worried about how you treat a woman is she going to take pussy in front of you, all right? That's why guys do a lot of things that they do in fear that a woman's going to take pussy away from them, all right? If you get, if you get in over that, if you get over that, you will treat, you will feel free. You will feel joyous. You you will feel ready to f- to fly out the window, because you're not worried about. A lot of the times, guys get to the point to where it's like, if I say, that's why guys lie. That's why guys lie in their actions. That's why guys mm-hmm. do the things that they shouldn't do. That women always complain about. Where if you would just be honest, you would just be honest. You're like, no. You can you can look at me like that all you want. No, but no, you understand stay what focused, I'm Travis. You want to? But my, my point is is that if you simply 
if you don't allow me to lie in my actions, if you let a man be free and do what he wants to fucking do, all right? And part of that is not worrying about making a woman happy because a lot of times what's going to end up happening is that that man is going to find a little bit. I'm going to be happy, and when I'm happy, I'm going to make my woman happy, all right? But, and I hear, and I'm going to get a lot of flack for this, but as far as, you know, happy wife, happy life, but at the, at the same time, you got the real uh, thought process that if I'm miserable, how am I going to make my wife happy? If I'm miserable, if I'm in the room and she's in the next room and she's like, Travis, I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> she want now, all right? But if there's a point to where she calls me and I'm like, yes, baby, I'm coming, all right? That's different. But that's what I mean by l leave lovable and leaveable. You get to the point to where guys have to understand, like, hey, my happiness is paramount because I'm going to make you happy. Trust me, I'm going to do my damnedest to make you happy if I'm happy. And if, if there's anything other than that, it's going to become a chore, and it's not going to last. Mm -hmm. It's not going to last that way. Okay. That's I, the stupidest shit I ever heard in my life. Okay, okay. so, okay. That's stupid. We're going to get AD, comment, hold your comment. Come on. Uh, wait a minute. We're going to get down to the comments. Um, so, uh, Shamika laughing because you said, um, free and joyous. <laughs> And Lush, <laughs> I'm gonna be free. And be um, Lush said, "Okay, I I agree with that now. That's really been my motto. If you feel you want to cheat and lie to me, please leave me. Just let just me. Leave. Just let me know." Right. Shamika Butler said, "Let a dog roam, and he'll find his way home." That's, That's what, max, what I'm trying to tell you. Um, <laughs> Rashida Bartsdale, hey auntie, hey. <laughs> Uh, she said, happiness comes from within, not from things or other people. Facts. Um, Latoya McBeth said, you lost me on that one, Travis. <laughs> show, show, show me where. Show me where. And he I'll, said, I'll tell you him you where you lost him at. Basically, he's saying, it's, you, go ahead, <laughs> I, it, that's the stupidest shit out of her. No, because hold on, wait, Travis. Hold on, hold on, wait. Hold on, wait. I don't have give. I don't gave you your turn. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now, yes. That's the stupidest shit out of her because you know why? When it really boils down to it, the only way a man is gonna be happy is with a woman. Okay. We are what makes you happy. You know why? Because we have this. <laughs> this. <laughs> That's what makes y'all happy. I can, this. I can, you gotta remember, most some men don't like that. <laughs> We're no. not talking to them. We're not talking to them. Oh, okay. what makes what yeah. makes men happy is no, time. No, but right. So and so, so you so, 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 so what I will agree with is that if a man is spending time on you, and he is spending time with you, that man loves you, or he is really feeling you. Okay, because that's the most important thing to a man is time. So I'll give you that. Right. Okay. What I won't give you what? is that stupid shit that you were just. What the fuck did you say again? Because it was so well, stupid. Was like stupid. Just, so this is what John Johnson said. He said that I think what Travis is trying to say is that women look for men to make them happy. But a man trying to pour from an empty cup would not be a sustainable relationship. Let that man do what makes him happy so they can make you happy. Okay. That's yeah, fact. Right. That's what saying. So okay. Ashley Gale also said, she said, I have to disagree. They have to be happy with themselves first before we can make them happy. I, I Thank wanna, you, I Ashley Gale. I'm going to speak Thank you, on that. Ashley Gale. Because said? happiness is an inside job. It is. And I'm going to say, I want to get one. It's an inside job. It's it is. is. You have to be happy exactly. with, with yourself before you can you have make somebody before else you can make someone else happy. That's what I said. But no, that's not what you said. That's what, you that's saying. Saying. That's what I was saying. Well, then you should have said that more clearly. <laughs> okay. That's not what you said. So, we, we you know what? Let, you let Toya say something that I really don't want to say because that's going to break. You know what? We're going to goddamn take it there. So, she said, what if cheating and blowing money on hoes make him Lord. happy? Lord, so, let's talk about my ex-husband. <laughs> let's talk about my ex-husband. Okay. That's what made him happy. And <laughs> that's what the fuck made him happy. Go going to the strip club, sitting up here oh, blowing, 
blowing money on hoes and sitting up here getting paid on Friday, taking all all his money out of the account on Friday afternoon and going and blowing it. That's my ex husband. So so if that's what makes him happy, am I supposed to just be okay with that while the power's getting cut off? While the water's getting cut off? While the the there's no food in the house? No. So I'm supposed to be okay with that. Man, Get the fuck out of here. Else. If I ain't happy, guess what? That house about to shut the fuck down. That house about to shut the fuck down. Okay. So that I I and and so I understand. And um, Shamika said that he is a happy trick and some men prefer it that way. And John Johnson also asked, is he taking care of home though? So that's going to lead me into the next topic since we, you know, y'all taking it there. And I love that y'all are actually doing that. And being that you're doing that and if you're loving what you're seeing or you're loving what you're hearing right now. I would love for you to share, share, share. Please go ahead and share it. I definitely do appreciate it. I definitely do appreciate everybody that is tuning in and definitely listening to the conversations that we are having. Like, I'm definitely feeling it. And the vibe is, like, real. So, it it is what it is. And I love it. Um, So, it was a question. It was a question that was asked. Um, well, it was a topic that was discussed um, amongst us. And the the question was, if a man takes care of everything at home, meaning that he pays the bills, take care of the kids, and etc., uh, would he be allowed to cheat? Or, like, like, can he cheat bluntly, like, known? Like, can he cheat and you know that he's cheating? If he takes care of If he's taking care of home. And you know, that's what we was talking about today also. Go, go ahead, Aiden. Let it go ahead. <laughs> you gonna say it? Yes. Okay. Yeah. He can cheat? Yeah. So, AD is saying Whoa. that, yes, like, a man should do, okay, so do you Let me tell think you. that he deserves to cheat? Okay, I, go ahead and tell me what you told me about. Man, I'm not going to say that he deserves to cheat. What I will say is this. Your grandmammy dealt with it. Your mama dealt with it. Your great-grandmammy dealt with it. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody in your goddamn bloodline dealt with it. Okay, now I have someone in my family. God rest her soul. She it, it, she is deceased. Um, but she had a husband. She never even had a driver's license. Okay, she never drove anywhere. She never touched a door handle. She never paid for anything. She didn't know what a bill was. Mm-hmm. Okay, but that man was sitting up here fucking everything south of Sunday. Okay. Oh, South to South, Sunday. South of Sunday. I never. I love that South, South of Sunday. Sunday. I don't know. I I just made it. I up. like it. I don't know. <laughs> but I like it too. <laughs> I'm gonna use it. But he was fucking everything no. South of Sunday. But guess what? That's but but guess what? Those same women that he was fucking would come into her home, and she would make them a plate. She would make them a fucking plate. Yes. And she would be as gracious as. But she probably wasn't she working. She, she no, mm-hmm. she you she listen. never worked a no. day in her fucking life. She never she worked. Right now. now, now, what I will say is this: y'all niggas that's out here sitting up here cheating, and y'all doing this, and y'all want women to be okay with it, then y'all need to let these women sit at home and not work, and you need to take care of the household. And I mean the entire household. She's not paying no water bill. She ain't paying no cable bill. She ain't, she ain't, she ain't paying no nothing. She is just taking care of the household. That's the only way that you get the opportunity to cheat freely. Because everybody does it. Everybody does it. Am I wrong? No. I, no, I, I, I'm not. I so, everybody... Everybody cheats, right? Regardless of whether or not you want to believe it, everybody cheats. Okay? Now, my point is, is that your grandma, your great grandma, your aunties, your mama, whomever has dealt with a cheater. 
But that cheater paid every fucking thing in that house. Paid everything. That is the only way that you're going to get away with cheating. That's the only way. If you expected me to pay half of anything in that goddamn house, guess what? I'm going to get some side dick too. <laughs> what? Hold on. So, John Justice said, I'm going to let y'all men answer. It was like, let that man cheat in peace, especially if you're not going to leave him. Monica asked, can I cheat too? Shamika said, a question that needs to be answered because we can both cheat in peace after dinner. <laughs> what the? Man. I feel you. Like, honey, you uh, ate good. I'll see you later. We're going to see each other later. Okay. About two hours. Um, <laughs> John Justin said, if we okay with double with one double standard, we have to be okay with all double standards. And you know, I agree with that. You know, I don't, that's that's how I'm growing. I don't. You, it's just like you have. It's, I'm not telling you you have to, but it's like, I mean, like on, what double standard are you talking about, though? It just depends Nigga, on did what you double almost... standard. <laughs> it just basically depends on. What you're talking about. So, I definitely do understand. Yeah, like, but, it just depends on what the topic is. Right. Yeah, and then, and Latoya, she was, she said, what the fuck is the purpose of being married, though? Marriage right, means, different, right. m means different things to different people. I ain't the one, though. I never stayed after being cheated on because I'm, because if I'm faithful, I expect this, the same in return. Simply. Right. Right. And, um, if you're faithful, then I'm going to be faithful. But I got to know that your ass is faithful. I have to know. Women or, 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 or better get. Not necessarily even know, but I have to believe that you're faithful. Well, you faithful? Don't believe Because it's, it's a belief system. What's that? Oh. oh. Can't see you. Oh. Oh. It's, 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 it becomes a belief system is what you're saying. Because what can happen is that just because you're unfaithful, all right, Automatically doesn't mean that you don't love the person that you cheated on, all right? Because That's it, it's, 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 it's easy to make a joke about, oh, yeah, all men cheat. It's easy to make that joke. But there are times that men don't listen to, to logic. They don't listen to anything other than they did. And they do something they shouldn't have done, all right? That happens more often because God gave us dick. And he did not give us a, a manual to operate with it because it gets us in trouble. And there's no way we can give it back. But my point about it is that there are situations, there are extenuating circumstances. I'm not ex making any kind of excuses for cheating. And nor am I saying it should be tit for tat or if you do it, I should do it. I, it situation dictates on that. It depends on the person or those two people and their understanding between each other. To simply draw a line in the sand and say that if he cheat, I'm automatically gone. Okay, that's your, that's your decision. Not saying it's right or it's wrong, but don't say that just because of somebody else Cheat I talk bullshit on anybody that says that they're going to leave as as soon as they because you they never cheat. know what because happened. you have time invested you love that person there is going to have to be a conversation you're not going to just leave that person immediately and if you do I mean hey like I take my hat off to you because I ain't never met nobody who will physically leave as soon as they find out that that person is right. Cheating. That's that is bullshit to me. That's rare. That's, it is. That's yeah. bullshit to me. It is. Because you love that person. And you don't Especially want to see... time invested. Right. And, 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 and like, you don't want to see that person... Um, for all intents and purposes, you don't want to see all of your hard work that you put into that person given to somebody else. So you, nine times out of ten, nine point nine 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 times out of ten... You are going to want that person to be with you because you want to see the the growth within that person. Right. There is no fucking way that you're going to just leave. Right. No. Please. I mean, I, I, I can it. definitely understand you not staying there and you not wanting to accept it. But especially if time has been invested. Let, let me tell y'all something, okay? So, like, um, just putting it out there like everybody know the situation that had happened with my mom or whatever so you know that was kind of like mind-boggling and so i i i go see a therapist i'm not ashamed to say it i i talk to a therapist or whatever yay you know people know that yay applaud for that <laughs> um applaud for that so you know just 
you know, <clears throat> speaking to her, you know, on that in regards of it, you know, I was going through some things and I was telling her about it and it was just like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I just, you know, I when I went through something, it wasn't just a up, like, out. I was going through stuff and you know other people that was surrounded was also going through stuff with me as well it's not an excuse but however it's you know sometimes that can just actually be an outlet for somebody some people don't know how to express their feelings so if that's something that you have done and if you feel like that you can just up and leave then that's fine but again i was going to this class and this man said that he was married for like 40 something years okay and he admitted that you know he 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 was like a habitual cheater like he mm -hmm. admitted that and um i i just end up saying in class i was just like you know something has to give you know, because you know, she keeps nagging. He's trying to change. She ain't trying to change. Something, something just has has have to give. She didn't trust him. Like it was, if he's a habitual cheater, she didn't trust him. Then, like if you become that way, me personally, I suggest for someone has to leave because something will really have to change within that. But the first time you hear it and you just up and leave, it's just like. It's really mm -hmm. rare. Like you, that you just is, gonna be yeah. like you're gonna, you're gonna try to build your trust in that person again, to expect that that person will not hurt you like that mm -hmm. again. Now, however, if it happens again, then that will be the choice that you will have to make on whether or not. Okay, I'm gonna stick it out. This and then a third, depending on whatever situation people have. So many, you know, good and bad excuses. However, they want to handle the situation. However, it's just like, okay, that second time, like, you know, it's up to you whether or not if you want to leave. Yeah. And I wouldn't yeah. want to, I, I I, mean, then that's when you're going to be like, okay, fuck it. You know, you're going to keep on, you're going to keep on doing though. it. Right. Yeah. The, I mean, I've, I've, I've been in a situation where, because I was married and legally, it's a long story. I don't want to talk about it. But I was legally married for 10 years. Mm -hmm. Like, we were together what, like four, five, six years? Something yeah, like four. that? Yeah, four. four. So, during those four years, this man cheated. Oh, my God. And, like, the breaking point for me, I mean, this is after me catching him at the strip club blowing his whole check this is after the text messages with the little cambodian girl oh, this fights. is the fights this is the arguments this is him a accusing me of sleeping with his best friend this is me finally getting a phone call from some fat ass white bitch while they were down in fucking myrtle beach and she's pregnant with this kid that was, that, was the phone? that was the breaking point now Enough to know. Yeah, because I'm not staying with a man. Every, if every, cheating this was four years. There ain't no way to that. Yeah, because that, everybody's breaking point is different. right, everybody's right. But but nobody's breaking point is one time you cheat, you're gone. Nobody's right. Nobody because as much as I say that that is my breaking point, no, it's not. It's 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 it's, it's not. You know, it's 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 a matter of. Are you remorseful? Or mm -hmm. are you willing to make drastic changes? Right. Are you willing to share your location on your iPhone with me? Basically, like, <laughs> willing, willing to do what like, it takes to share. Right. Are to you like, willing to trust. do what and it and takes? And and I mean, and the man had a trust. tracker on his phone. Like, his wife said it was like, she, you know, in order for me to actually... Regain my trust in you. I want you to put this track on your phone. Fuck you at and she needs to know. Seven. And but, that's a headache. But at, that's the same time, but at the same time, there is a now, line to now, be drawn to that. There's right? No, 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 no. Okay. There is no line to be drawn because you fucked up. There's yes. no line to be yes. drawn. Yes, yes. But what I'm the, saying, the, the, the line is when I get tired, 
But I'm saying cheating. Of, of drawing that line in the sand when I get Why tired. Why get tired of drawing that line? No, but, no, the, really, the, all, all honesty aside, or complete, being completely honest about it, is that there's got to be a line drawing in regards to, okay, I'm going to do, if I'm, if I'm remorseful, if I'm sorry, I'm going to do everything mm-hmm. reasonably possible. I'm gonna do but everything. see, y'all's I'm, I'm problem a- is is that y'all do that shit for like a week. Yep. And then y'all expect everything to be fine. But You're like, oh, you know, I brought you flowers. I did this. I did Bitch, that. Bitch, I brought you an I edible cleaned, arrangement. I cleaned the dishes. The house was clean. Like. But then you have those that are actually reasonably sorry about Facts, it, man. and they would they would continue Facts. to show it. And what my, my only point, um, my and only, my you only will point continue to show it until I show, feel but th- as you, though you don't need and to being, show it anymore. And that's all on me. And, 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 right. and I'm, and I'm that's all you. And all I'm at, no, it's, it's all on me to continue to show it until I want because you're absolutely right. Until I, you I, want to. No, 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 that's no, no, what no, you're no, about to say. No, 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 don't don't put words in my mouth. What I'm saying is that I know that I've made a withdrawal out of the trust bank. I know that. And what I'm saying oh, is nigga, that... you I, overdrew. No, listen. <laughs> nigga, don't, don't you my mind. Listen to what I'm saying. All right? All, all joking aside, mm-hmm. I know I've withdrawn from the trust bank, and I know it's up to me and me only to put money back in it. I have to earn that back. Mm-hmm. I get that. All right? And what I'm saying is that I have to get that back. Don't continue to move the goalpost. All right? Once I, but when I get to, I'm saying, I'm being completely fair. But we don't know where the goalpost is. No, no, and I get that. That's the thing. That there are some women that will continue to do it. There, well, I'm just only speaking to those, to those women. I'm not saying you, I'm not saying you or anybody else like, in particular. Mm-hmm. What I'm saying is that there will be those that will get back into it with a man and will continue to play with it and continue to pull the goalpost a little bit farther. That man will continue to get to a point to where he's making a fool out of himself, playing fucking piano. And but you made a fool out of us. Things. No, but this is what I'm saying. Okay, but there is a line there. But you made there, a fool out of yeah, us. So where? Publicly, publicly. And, okay, you made a fool out of us. But you don't even have to do all that because I don't even like this shit. No, but and, and <laughs> all, all I'm saying is that, that you're going to continue to do it until y'all both agree that, that y'all are in a better place. But there are some women that will be mischievous uh, and malicious enough. They will continue to play and tease that man as if they're going to forgive him. And they're not really ever deep down or going to ever forgive him. And I'm talking to those right. women. I'm not talking to you in particular or anybody like that. What I'm saying is those people that will maliciously continue to pull away and make, and make mm-hmm. that man's life hell because he treated just for revenge. Just for vengeance. And continue to do no, it. No, I believe because that's really what happened. she was doing. I'm telling you. To the point that I was just like, bro, like, I'm even getting tired of it now. You in here, you trying to change, and she's still nagging. Like, bro, like, somebody got to go. That's exactly what I said. I said, somebody yeah. got to go. Like, just somebody, like ha- somebody has to go. Like, just like Sealy said. I'm not, it's, it's just Be to you. the point. Right. No. Uh, <laughs> like, it's just too much. Like, I understand, but I, I, will, I, will, I, will, I will want for you to be consistent. After 21 days, you either break or make a habit. Period. You get what I'm saying? So if you make it at that 21st day, I might put a little extra on there to 30 days. And that means that you are being consistent. Mm -hmm. You have you have to show it. Like it it, everything has to be and I understand where Travis coming from. Like everything has to be earned. Mm -hmm. But I would just want for you to not allow for you to withdraw so much that you have to earn. All that back. Yay. <laughs> Agree. For real. Fact. So I'm going to go ahead and get to the comments. Um, Let's just say, no, nah, I stayed after being cheated on. It's so true. Y'all motherfuckers be lying when they say that. Um, Antonio said, it may depend on what hey, the Crystal. person. <laughs> and, hey, Dana. Hey, Dana. It says, um, oh, oh, my bad. Antonio said it may depend on what the circumstances was when one person cheated. Could have been a best friend he slept with or a close or a close relative. Get on Antonio. He get on my nerves. (laughs) So (laughs) But he said he also said I've cheated because of an infatuation. Laugh out loud for real, for real. Um, I don't know who the fuck Antonio is, but I'm done with your ass. Listen, <laughs> and he was there. Um, <laughs> Monica also ass. said, I have to leave because I have anger issues and I'm trying to stay out of jail. <laughs> Latoya also stated that I've been cheated on twice. If you ask both of the men, 
they'll tell you wasn't no talking to me closure is a myth i don't care how much time is invested people get way too caught up on that if it didn't mean enough to him to keep his dick in his pants then obviously we weren't as good as i thought we were fuck the time invested um fuck love relationships are so much more no uh, than that who is that What's her, name? Um, her name was latoya, LaToya. I, I trust okay so Latoya, I definitely sick. understand exactly what what you're saying. I trust me, one hundred percent. I definitely understand exactly what you are saying, and I, you know, I I I feel like that people do play time investment as like a like being manipulative when it kind of sort of come to that because it's be like, oh, you know, I done been with him so for X amount of years, blah blah blah, like sometimes i'm just like okay so we still living we can still move on with our lives like time really is just like okay yeah we spent time that means that we also grew and learned from each other as well fair being to you but you know i gotta go on you know one, and one one point and, and i'm i'm, I'm low-key kind of talking to latoya but one point you have to take into consideration is that when you get cheated on and i've been in this situation when you cheat or get cheated on, what is that other person going through? And what I mean by example is that one time I got cheated. I've been cheated on plenty of times. Almost every relationship I've been in, I was cheated on. All right, is my point. Is that what was I doing wrong? Was I doing something wrong to get cheated on? You know, is it because I'm the man? You know, I shouldn't. I, w w cheating is not exclusive to men or women. All right, it's, it's across the board. And my point is, is that when it comes to cheating, like, there can be levels to that to why that person cheated, all right? Did I do something wrong? Did I not treat her right, all right? Did, Latoya, did you get cheated on because you wasn't doing something right, all right? And I'm not saying you did, but I'm opening that conversation to you is what I'm saying. And all I'm saying is that when it gets to a point to where you understand why that person cheated, sometimes there is a why. There's something, there's a why. And there is a, I'll, I, I'm, let me give you a perfect example. Say, say, say you're a baby, all right? Say you're a baby. And, and I hand that baby, say there's a baby, I hand that baby a $100 bill, all right? What's that baby going to do to that $100 bill? All right, that baby's going to rip that dollar bill, that $100 bill up, rip it up, shred it up, gloss, slob all over it, whatnot. Now, you give me that $100 bill right now at 40 years old, what am I going to do? Give me that $100 bill. I'm going to cherish the fuck out of that $100 bill because I've got to try not to break it. And I've learned how to appreciate <laughs> that $100. Time took by for me to learn how to appreciate what I had, I didn't appreciate it back then. I didn't know no better. Now I know better, is all I'm trying to say. I right? understand. I, I so, definitely agree. And, and, and cur curve lip all you want. But the, and the, another thing about cheating, especially when it comes to guys, I used to equate cheating to, ha to, 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 to spoil milk. All right? And roll with me for this for a second. To spoil milk. All right? It used to be like, say you got milk in the refrigerator. All right? You got milk and it's expired on the 3rd. Hold on. It's expired on the 3rd and it's the 27th. What you going to do? You're gonna smell that motherfucker anyway. And see if it's still some good. And see if it's any good. <laughs> and there's too many niggas out here sniffing these spoiled ass bitches out here because they don't know them, but that's, that's just what we do. All right? They True. can't help. But that's what I used to think the thought process was when it comes to men and cheating is that ah, we can't help it. We just, oh, 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 oh. No, there is no thought process True. for a man when it comes to cheating. There isn't one. All right? So don't try but to define it. Because, nigga, that's simply what, well, that's what we ask. All right, I just told you he didn't give us a receipt for it. We can't give it back. Nigga, I, I just got back here. No, no I, you no, was no, right no, when you said it's the right it's, question it's at the right why. time. Why? Nigga, there is no why. A lot of times it is no deeper than it was, the, it was the time and the place of the situation. All right? You can give a woman a fucking, a, was married and happily married with kids and everything, a lie detector test. Like, hey, you know, you, you, do you love your man? Like, yes, I love my man. Like, all right, would you cheat on him with, like, you know, Brad Pitt or Harrison Ford, you know, something like that? Like, yeah. But no, I got to no, be right with no, no, stop. Stop. No, you hear what I'm saying. Okay, Idris or anything like that. Like, ah, oh, it's tempting, but no, I wouldn't do it. You know, you ask a man the same fucking questions. Hey, you know, do you love your wife? Yes, I love her. Like, do you love your family? Yes, I love her. Like, hey, and they will pass the fuck out of it. Hey, would you cheat on your girl with, you know, this Probably bitch man. trans, you know, passed out behind the dumpster? <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> you know, <laughs> my point is that there is no thought process behind it, all right? Yes, you have to equate to a certain level of mind, level of respect for your, for your significant other. Would you do it, all right? But a lot of times, especially when you're young, I'm 40, I'm 41 years old. It, 
it took me many years to understand the level of it to, to be reasonable to where I am now. It took a long time to get where I am now and experience a lot of bullshit in the meantime between time before I get to a point to where I don't have to worry about that anymore. I don't have to worry about cheating and, and is she cheating and this, that, and the other, all right? Just like I said before, like, my girl loves the fuck out of me, and if she felt like she needed to leave, she will leave me, all right? She would not play that game with me, all right? because she carried a blade around she, 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 You're so stupid. She loves herself <laughs> enough. She loves me and she loves herself enough that, hey, if it's some bullshit, I'm gone. Yeah. Now, if it's something real, I'm going to stay. And she knows there's something real. Period. So, all right, Travis. Okay, so you gave the spill, so and they gave the spill right back to you. Um, <laughs> um, it, um, yeah, they was definitely keeping up. Um, I they was keeping up with it more than me. A lot of them did say some comments, and I'm just gonna go ahead and shoot to. Damn, that was a lot of comments. Yeah, it is. <laughs> like I love the energy, y'all. Thank y'all so much for it. And if y'all love it too, y'all can go ahead keep and just share it. And keep sharing. Um, so let me go ahead and go to the recent one. Being that you were um talking to Latoya, she said, I'm not about to even try to understand why a person cheated. That's on them, not me. If we have issues, that's where communication comes into play. Why is it that the cheaters can never open up and have these conversations until after they are caught? Laughing my ass off. Riddle me that and ain't trying to hear that trap. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it, Toy. That's boo. That ain't part. That part. Okay. Um, Crystal Bates says, having been the cheater and been cheated on is truly a desire and, em and emotion. The fact that loyalty never comes to mind, there is there there is just, just impulse. That's all it is. Right. Um... She also said, also, just the fact that you just don't give a damn. So, basically, you know, people in the comments going um, in it with each other. And Nina, she laughing at AD uh, what, about what she said. But, yeah, it's just, okay, so now... You know you carry a blade around in your mouth, so... <laughs> so, now that we're, you know, we're, we're in the Love conversation... You. Of you know talking about cheating, so the the question was like if a man like if a man takes care of everything at home, is he able to cheat? And Ad said yes. Me personally, I'd be like just in, you know just keep it safe, right? Keep don't tight, keep it right. Like don't keep bring tight, keep this right, and door. don't be don't allow for a bitch to be disrespectful towards right. me, towards you, towards we, anything. Like right, we don't that's not Barbara me Shirley not giving situations. permission. But y'all know how I feel about these type of conversations. Like y'all already know if y'all been listening and tuning in to conversations with Glow. Again, thank you everyone for tuning in. Y'all already know how I feel about it. Like it's just like it. Just be real. That's it. That's it. Give me a choice. Just give me a choice. Allow for me to decide exactly what I want to do. It's not fair that you wouldn't allow for me to have this choice. It's just like, oh, okay, this is something that you have to accept. No, motherfucker. Sure. I don't have to accept that. You have to give me a choice. Right. And then, therefore, that's when the communication come in at. So, therefore, we can sit down with each other to find out exactly where each other is at. That part. Period. Okay. okay. Fair so, fair um, okay. So while we're talking about cheating or whatever, I come to I I asked the question again in my group again conversations with Glow. Mm -hmm. I had asked. I said, "What is considered cheating?" And a lot of comments were like this. Um, basically everybody matched up with. I mean, you know, some people matched up. It was just like you know, if you're sexing or talking to someone or. Having general conversations, whatever. Anything outside of me, basically, is cheating. Okay? And, um, so, I, you know, you know, we live in a society where, you know, it's, it's, it's so much of more this and that in a third. That's our society. Also, one of the Ten Commandments also stated, I don't, you know, I just, you know, <laughs> quote me if I'm wrong. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Again, adultery means voluntary sexual intercourse between a married person with someone that is not his or her spouse. 
Okay. Now, being that we got that out of the way, all right, so does that mean if a married person is communicating with someone that is not his or her spouse, would that be considered cheating? By that definition, yeah. Hold on. I, think it, I think it depends on what they're talking no, about. No, I said communication. I didn't say anything about sex. It doesn't matter what they're talking about because right here, adultery just said voluntary sexual intercourse. That is adultery, okay? So, who goes first? Ladies first. Chezo, Chezo, go. I don't think it's cheating unless you have a meeting of the minds. That means what does that mean? That means that means once both of y'all decided that that's what y'all gonna do. Okay, so it's just penetration, basically. No, it's like once y'all decide. Hey, look, this once we we have a meeting of the minds, saying once we decide together that that's what we gonna do. Like you cheating. So fucking. Once you have. The, the, the conversation. I mean, right. Once the conversation is there, it's already cheap. Okay, so for you, like, it's emotional. Tells you, if you dwell on something, you might, you just as guilty as doing. Okay, so for you, it it's emotional. Facts. I mean, because a female ain't gonna have sex. When females have sex, what, what is it? They they it's emotion. It's more emotions, right? That's not necessarily true. Well, it, it doesn't matter. Anybody have their everybody have their own reasons as to why they cheat. However, what I'm saying is adultery, and what I'm saying is yeah, like if what is considered like, cheating? What is considered cheating? So is your like, emotional or physical? Right. Like what is it? And then it's, it's relative. What you consider cheating might not be so, what I consider cheating. What right. that person considers cheating, but in okay. My, so like for me, go ahead. Which is what is your your definition? For and me, your personal definition of cheating. I'm a very jealous person, mm-hmm. and I'm a very possessive person. What's mine is mine. If you are showing, talking, looking, um, uh, 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 uh give me something else. You said talking, Any looking, of the ing's showing. Um, <laughs> that's about it. And anybody else, I'm I'm mad, and you cheating on me. If you are talking to another person while you are in a relationship with me, mm-hmm. and that talking sexual, it ain't even gotta be sexual. If it's let's let's be realistic. Let's be realistic. All right. If I actually, if I say, because I have a girlfriend, all mm-hmm. right. I had a conversation with Glow when I first got here. It was just me and her. We were simply mm-hmm. having a conversation. We were talking about a uh, conversation with Glow. That's different. Night, all right. That's different. Is that not simply, that's simply having, a conversation, having a conversation. All right. So what I'm saying is that it gets. Because there wasn't. No, it, no it, it, doesn't, it doesn't specify what type of conversation. So would you consider that Travis was cheating because I was talking about no. conversations with Glow? No. no. Okay. Because so what if we're depends talking? on what kind of of, of okay, conversation. Okay, so, so it means... I mean, okay. like, come on now. It, it, that's, it, that's it depends on what type of conversations, what type of looks, what type of text messages, what type of emails, what type of... You know, like, because those... those, those let me give you a, a hypothetical. You know, hey. let, me, let me give you a hypothetical. All right, hold on. Yeah. So keep keep that. Keep what you're thinking. Keep what you're that thinking. that kind of energy translates via text message, via email, via phone call. True. That shit translates, right? So Obsessed. if 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 I am talking to a man, and I know because women, correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, please hit hit those comments. Correct me if I'm wrong. But we know within five, ten minutes or so that we're going to fuck that man or not. Yes, ma'am. I agree. We that know I always that we're going to fuck that man. On, right? On so with that being said, if we are having a conversation outside of something that would be a conversation that we would have in front of our significant other. Right? So if, if, if we, we can't have this kind of conversation in front of my significant other. Because that motherfucker's gonna get mad. Then that's okay? Cheating. Then that's cheating. If you don't feel comfortable doing what it is that you're doing in front of your significant other, mm-hmm. that's cheating. Mm-hmm. Okay. Period. So I understand and um I I get it. And Latoya also okay. Um comments coming in. So Antonio said if you wouldn't do it while 
I'm there. It's cheating. Right. Mm -hmm. Candace said, if you're right. not married, then it's not cheating. Wow. <laughs> it's, wow. I mean, wow. Hold on, 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 hold on. But let's talk about that, though. Okay? Because if I'm in a committed relationship with someone, okay, it doesn't matter if I'm married or not, I have committed myself to that one person. That one yeah, person. That, that was a person that's trying to write the coattails of the of the, 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 the fine line print. You, know, like you can't read the fine print on that. If you, did you see the fine line print? I did, print? I did, I did. That? That's I very, very, so, so, very small so, ones that you got to write. So, 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 it was very small. <laughs> So, I, so, so, you, right? so, so, my point is, is that it doesn't matter whether or not you're married or not. You've made a commitment yeah. to that one person mm -hmm. that you were in a relationship with. You know, people get with that bullshit. Oh, well, well I'm single I'm because I'm not married, and da, da da da. That's the reason why you're not married. I guess so. So That's the reason why you're not married. I guess so. Because you don't. <laughs> <laughs> because, because that's a, like you not focusing on that one person. Now, now to kind of caveat on that, I am a, a, a firm believer in rotational dating. Okay? If you're not with someone, rotationally date. They will. But hold up. Wait. And out. that also comes to. Um, a post that I saw in um, Getting Blunt with AP Shout out to Alicia Pepper um, it, it was just like women should date Multiple women it says date not fuck So I was just like shit I can dig it I can date multiple men Wait. And and not have to fuck them And then here comes somebody who was just like well you know Dating comes with fucking not necessarily No you know and then again That comes with you know going on Vacation and dates are Are Whatever. Vacations and dates are very different. Um, that part. Let's get to the comments. David Brown said, if you do anything with someone that is supposed to be reserved between you and your partner, mm -hmm. it's cheating. Uh, everybody agree with what you had said. Speak mm -hmm. the truth, sister girl. Um, Ashley Gale said, said um, if you're giving someone the energy that you should be giving me, that's cheating. If, you're inter if you are entertaining another person, that's cheating. Giving someone access to you that I only should have is cheating. I feel you. Okay. Based off the definition that I gave, if I'm not married, then it's cheating. That's what Candace said. She, <laughs> she is on it. Yes, Candace. Okay. Wait, hold on. Wait, Julie. What did she say? Based off the definition of The definition, what I said, as far as like with adultery within the Ten Commandments. It's just like. Candace, I, you got a boyfriend. She, the, I think. Yeah, um, okay. Julie said, <laughs> cheating is defined as anything you wouldn't accept or condone your spouse or significant other doing to you in secrecy. Right. So, if it's unacceptable behavior, actions, or words that you wouldn't dare approve of from your relationship, then the same definition applies to you. Thank you, Julie! Thank you. You gotta keep the same energy that you want your significant yeah. other to keep. This is, this is this is what it means. And Candace, like I'm, I wasn't trying to call call you out or anything like that. Like it's it's not like that. But it's all love. It's all love. But what I'm saying is that yes, legally speaking, it's not considered adultery. So I got a question okay, for but it's still cheating. So if, so if you mute your phone. To say something to you know, he said he wants to get somebody married. around you. What? That's the same thing. That's cheating. Why not? Huh? Hold on, you wait. Repeat that? that again. I said okay. So you know, people mute their phone, right? Mhm. Mm when they talking to people when they on the phone with their significant other, because they don't want their significant other to hear what they saying, so they mute their phone. Who hurt you? No. Nigga, who hurt you? Oh, it depends shit. on what y'all said. You know what I'm saying? She I'm just, just pointing out what you said. You said it's cheating. I mean, I'm just asking. No. First of no. all, <laughs> I'm not going to pick up my phone if I'm with a nigga and my nigga call. And I'm not, I'm, first of all, I'm not going to pick up the phone. As simple as that. Hold on, wait a minute. No, because you, 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 like like you clearly said, you clearly said, oh, uh, put the phone uh, on mute. Because she might be with the other person, no, but she on no, the phone no, with her significant other. 
Is it, okay, check is, me out. Answer, the, answer this question. Now. Okay. Okay, say me and you having a conversation. Okay? You call me, we talking. Me and my bro, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever. A girl walked in. You feel me? I know this girl. You know I know this girl. You feel me? I put my phone on mute and start talking to her. I take my phone off mute. The, you know what I mean? And oh, that, so you me. mean like you're on the phone? Yes. We oh. on the phone together and we talk. What the fuck you put me on mute for? Right. Right. <laughs> Nigga, what the fuck is the question? That's, that's the <laughs> question. Like, yo, that's what I'm saying. Like, okay, I don't, I don't really want to go into it like that, though. You know what I'm saying? Go into it. Clearly, clearly, because, I mean, like, you're not giving us any kind of information. So, so, so you're on the phone with me, mm -hmm. right? So you my girl, right? Right. I'm on okay. the phone with you. You on the phone with, with, with one of your brother, one of your brother friends. One of your brother friends walk in the house. You know what I'm saying? One of my brother friends? Yeah. Walk in the house. Y'all, y'all mean, cause y'all cool. You know what I'm saying? You and your brother friend's cool. You feel me? Oh, roommate, goddammit. But this is like, you know what I'm saying? A dude that you know. Come on with it. Some, some yeah. random guy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he ain't random. It's a dude, you, you know, that you cool with. Okay. Um, say he's your best friend. You know what I'm saying? And you say this is your best friend. We gotta stop listening to you. <laughs> no, you saying? gotta stop listening to you. I don't know what the fuck you're Forget it, man. Nigga, did you get the contact? <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> I ain't got the contact. I was trying to find something out, but we straight. All, all I want, all I wanted to say. <laughs> Man, y'all is all, tripping, yo. All I wanted to say was that <laughs> this all, the, the going back and forth has proven nothing but one point <laughs> that, <laughs> che <laughs> that, that cheating is relative <laughs> to an individual right. what person A considers cheating is might not be the same thing and, and that's what I was trying to get across Probably. listen the bottom line oh, okay. is this so che cheating whatever, and, and I'll express whatever my, you do on, let, me, let me express what my definition of cheating is All right, because everybody else has expressed theirs mm -hmm. my definition of cheating is that when there's a, because it comes to a point to where the cheating comes from, when there's a void in the situation of as far as a relationship, when there's a void as far as when there's that wall that continues to build of the things that you don't say to each other, when you don't talk to each other, and you next thing you know, you end up finding a ways to confine in another person, another person of the opposite sex. Say you got a, a quote unquote a work husband, and you're able to talk to him about all, all the that things that you're doing. And that shit shouldn't be about, all, about all the things that your man isn't doing at home, and he's just and that work husband is just you know just consoling you and like you know if I was you know with you or you know you know if you had to do, you know if it wasn't with him I did you know I, I would never do you like this but blah blah blah. Or the other way around, work wife, the situation where you know, oh, she did that to you again. She just a mad game. She, all that is get to a point that is cheating. Se people mm -hmm. e equate sex with cheating, and sex is simply a end result of cheating. When it gets to a point where you have a void, you the on, yeah. when you have a void with somebody else, when you have a void with your significant other, and you it attempt to have that void with right. somebody else. Sorry. When you attempt to have that void with somebody else, whether it be a conversation or talking or anything emotional or whatever that case may be, that is cheating. Sex is simply an end result of cheating. Mm. All right? Can we all agree mm -hmm. that if we can all doing time, something yeah. that you would not want your it's significant nice. other mm -hmm. to do in front of you? Or mm -hmm. you to do in front of your significant other is Still cheating. Mm -hmm. Can we admit that? Admit what? I miss that. So the go to the comments, they may have called it. I'm so sorry, AD. You probably gonna have to repeat it because I was saying something. But make sure you remember that. So um, Julie said, men have a tendency of saying that they aren't wrong for flirting because they haven't penetrated yet. But if that same woman is caught flirting with another man without penetration, she's a trifling cheating ass bitch. Facts. I Facts. Ooh. Facts. Right. So Facts. Antonio was saying with you, Chazo, oh, he, he said he's saying if they hear the dude in the background while on the no, phone. I still don't know what the fuck that Okay. Means. And Julie said we can't pick and choose when to change the definition of cheating. We all know what's inappropriate 
and what leads to cheating. But I was just fighting was why why do you have to mute your phone to talk to a person? You can't say it to me. I ain't okay, so somebody hurt yeah. you. Yeah. So muting the phone and it, yeah. Um, no, Nina no, 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 said no, no. bullshit, Travis. <laughs> and Travis responded and said which part? So we waiting for her to respond to which he... part? So basically, you know, every as we see now that everybody de definitely have their own meaning of cheating. Right. Again, I, I've also heard people say, you know, if we're not in a relation, I mean, if we're not married, then it's not considered cheating. Again, everybody I mean, has their but, own. But, but back to what you you asked. Yeah, like, can we all just agree that if you wouldn't want this particular situation done to you okay. it's cheating it's cheating or mm -hmm. if you see your significant other doing something that you would not want them to do that's considered cheating right if you'll get mad that it is cheating i'll agree with that definition too yeah like if 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 you're gonna get pissed off because you see your your significant other doing <laughs> But what if that's his love language? Oh, that's something that you have to accept, right? Right. Okay. 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 So my love language. Well, no. Let me not even say love love language. Let me say my zodiac mm -hmm. is a very flirtatious, and I'm a very touchy feely person. What are I want to touch you. Like I want to feel your energy. All right. I'm a Libra. Okay. Right. Okay. So. Oh. So, yeah. so people look at me as a flirt. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and <laughs> Man, you clenched your fist. <laughs> because it's the it's truth that men Libras can. Uh, no, nah, I'm just. That was, that was, uh, that was, that was about frustration of past grievances, whatever. The fuck does that mean? Oh. I'm just bullshit. No, no, no. no, no. no go ahead, Ashley. It just means. Oh, okay. Whatever. Experience with the Libra. Who hurt you? Stop asking people that. Stop doing that to people. <laughs> these motherfuckers is hurt over here. Like these, this one, and this we one. Virgos, man, don't, don't do that. Hurt, oh, hurt. Oh. Somebody hurt them. We Virgos. Okay. That's all it is. Right. And it was probably a Libra. Nation, baby. But anyway, my whole point is is that Libras tend to have a very flirtatious personality, right? So, you know, currently I am I almost told on myself Ooh. who hurt you. Who? <laughs> <laughs> now who hurt you? you? <laughs> appreciate everybody just tuning in i definitely do appreciate it and if you like what you hear if you like what you see go ahead and share 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 and go ahead and comment as well but um uh hold on, hold on. antonio <laughs> you were correct <laughs> <laughs> so antonio said that ad having flashbacks she said that he is she, he is correct. My she is having flat, uh, flashback. So yeah, she had to catch herself. Woo, she child. Had, and then she had to take a shot. Lord Jesus, I'm talking myself, child. Mm -hmm. Lord Jesus, shut the fuck up. Over shut there. the fuck up. Mm. That goddamn. Out to kill him. 
It's a truth serum. <laughs> <laughs> it's a truth serum. Ooh. When yeah. Brock. Oh, I love it. You know what? You well, should have took a picture. Yeah. Okay. So, um, we like I said, we're going to go ahead and wrap it on up. But into the last topic or whatever, it the question is, do nice guys finish last? Yes. Like, do women really be out here friend zoning the Russells and chasing the futures? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get it? Yep. Chasing the futures? <laughs> I saw what you did there, and I liked it. <laughs> that wasn't, that wasn't cool. <laughs> so, <what? laughs> so, so, okay, so now. Well, what you got this heat on? Back, back in the hell. Um, <laughs> she got the heat on hell. That's the reason why I was like, uh, what do you keep your heat on? <laughs> women, women, women swear up and women. A lot of the time, women will swear they like a nice guy. All right, but women don't like a weak guy. All right, and and unfortunately, there are there's a correlation between what women view as 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 one or the other. All right, when you say a nice guy, you know it's a guy that doesn't treat them like shit. A guy that's always like, yes, baby, no, baby, yes, baby, like, like ooh, 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 tickle, tickle, baby. What you know, <laughs> you know that's that's the nice the guy. The nigga brought out the tickle, tickle, I did. baby. And so what happens <laughs> so, is that what what women usually respond to is is the is the bad boy. And the reason why that is, is purely psychological, is because women by nature, and they can't help it. Y'all cannot help it because it's simply just getting mad for a snake uh, for biting you. All right? It's just for the simple fact that women like security. Women feel safe when they feel secure. Women feel good when they feel secure. All right? And a guy that's kind of an asshole, a guy that's kind of mean, all right? He has those arrogant qualities where he's almost the bully to certain people. Yeah. Okay, yeah. He, no, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't demean what I'm saying because I'm not going to demean what you say when you get ready. To it, <laughs> all right? The simple fact is that a guy can be an asshole, all right, and that's what we're going to respond to because he's an asshole because they feel safe with that, all right. A guy who's completely nice. I'm, 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 I'm agree well, with you. Well, they get jeans and the boots. <laughs> so Antonio actually said, um, Travis, that I'm a nice guy pretending to be an asshole. I hate it here. <laughs> Okay, but see, this is the difference. And, oh, and, shit. And Antonio, oh. I I need for you to friend request me because I like you, okay? Okay, Antonio. I like you, okay? He was at the meet and greet. Who the fuck was Antonio? You probably wow. didn't see him. I was drunk. Anyway, so my point is this. Do nice guys finish last? Okay, so you have to understand that there are is a certain level of woman who can appreciate the nice guy who can love the nice guy who can see the nice in the guy right first of all fuck you for looking at me like that because okay. you, you, you bullshit. So, no. Let, I, let it get no, it out, Trav. No. Let, let it get I, it out. I let you get your bullshit no, 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 out. Okay. So, <laughs> go ahead. so, listen. So, that, yes. That too go ahead. What I will agree to is that women tend to like the assholes. Which is what I said. I said what I will agree to. So, what do you disagree with? Shut the... <laughs> My, my point is this, is that it takes a certain type of woman who is going to be able to appreciate the Russell versus mm -hmm. the future. Mm -hmm. Okay? <laughs> versus, okay. A certain type of woman. It, it, it is going to take a woman who has been through some shit, who is going to appreciate that type of Russell. And that's just bottom line. I mean, like you can't always go 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 through life looking for, for a Russell for a future. Well, and, and expect also to get a Russell. Well, yeah, you you're know, right. and and you're right. and and, right. and want a Russell, right. but you keep fucking futures. Yep. Okay, because the Russells is sitting up here looking at who you fucking. They're looking at Russells as cornballs. Right. So the cornballs is is sitting up here looking at you fucking the futures. And you done had three, four, five, six, seven kids by the futures. The Russell don't want you. 
The wrestlers don't want you. Go to she done had all them. Right. Want to come to somebody else? Like, right. You know because now you settled down. Now and then gain all that weight. Right. And now you want to settle down. And now you want because to have a family. I'm and, happy now. Yeah. And and. And now you get those, you know, seven, eight, ten thousand dollar tax refund checks. No, Russell don't give a fuck. You know why? Because Russell is in IT. Okay. Yeah. Russell is in IT. And he know and everything he about your IT. phone. He your can hack your shit. I don't know why Russell got to be a corn ball. No. Always corn balls. That's not what we're saying. Oh, okay. What she said was, we always go for the future. So the futures are well, how women are looking at Russell's right. are cornballs. Not saying right. that we're necessarily that calling are, are you cornballs. Are, are, are a cornball. Right. Yeah. What yeah. I'm saying is that. Russell was at IT. That's why I was like. But I, I know. Said, I got it. Don't no, 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 no. Don't get stuck on the semantics. Yeah, no, keep going. Right. Keep going. Go ahead. Stop, 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 stop sticking, the, sticking on the semantics. That's just simply it's an example. It, it's, 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 yeah, it's just an example. So the thing is, is like, yeah, you know, you, you're going to appreciate your Russell once you done had more than a couple of futures. Mm -hmm. And it's, it is crazy. And I mean, right. that's how it is when it comes to women too with men. Y'all sometimes would probably, y'all can look at, I don't know what you may call her or whatever, but you, oh, she's not my type. And then within a the long run, she does become your type. And then you'd be like, oh, this is what I've been missing the whole time, you know, whatever. But anyway, back to getting on what, um, again, thank y'all so much. For commenting and again, Latoya is on it. She said, "Um, it's a phase. I believe we all go through. I'm coming out of slowly but surely. But I agree. I had to go through some shit to get to this point, right? And and the futures are exciting, like yeah, they I mean, really Lord, are. Like she, he about to take me to the trap. But Lord, it's Lord knows that I have dated my <laughs> Fair deal of drug dealers. Okay, okay. let me tell you that is the most exciting time of my like, life. Like, oh shit, nigga, you want me to drive you here? What? <laughs> you have crack on you? <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. Wow. <laughs> this is gonna wow. be fun, alright? Yeah, oh, like, if we get pulled over, what I'm gonna we're say? We're going shopping? What you're I'm giving say? me a stag, so I, you're giving me a guap? So I can go shopping. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you give me a bitch. So I can go shopping? Bitch, you gonna take care what? of me. You You're gonna get my hair done? done? You're gonna get my nails done? What? Shit. Man, listen, let me tell you something. It was the most exciting time of my life until I got pulled over. And then he yeah, didn't take the charge. And this motherfucker had a prescription bottle, a prescription pill bottle in his pocket. Thank God I was dressed like I was going to corporate America and they did not search the fucking car. And he was like, whoo, child, I'm glad we got out of that one. <laughs> and pulled a goddamn bottle out. I said, no bitch, you don't get me fuck out. private school Catholic school right here bam mm. okay I'm in a private school it's, it's, it's kind of crazy not about that life I, I guess I guess I, I, I hold a a fair level of re, of resentment towards women uh, in this whole you know topic altogether in general only because of the experience, personal experience. Like, ask me who hurt me all the fuck you want every damn day, damn near every fucking bitch I fuck with all right <laughs> My point they is, is that my point my point is let's give a fuck them. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Did you say I don't give a fuck them? <laughs> no, no, I just, I just give a fuck about them. <laughs> no, you said I don't I give a fuck. That's what I meant to fucking say. All right. I just heard it too. He said I don't give a fuck them. Man, he just like fucking in the same sentence. Look, look, I don't give a fuck them. Yo. You okay, I'm sorry, Travis. Go. <laughs> I can't get those. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, that was so funny. Go. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. 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 Go ah
Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. I need them back in the frame. Okay. Get back in the frame. I'm back. Get back in the frame. I'm back. Come on back. Okay, come on. Come on back. No. Come on back. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, y'all, I'm so serious. Okay. So, before I forget what I'm about to say, because you know how to get. Go ahead! Alright. Hurry up! Because you're about to forget. Go ahead. 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 God damn it! No, <laughs> Travis, you was on a roll. Where was I going? Where was I going with that? Where okay, let me remind you. I don't give a fuck. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. All right, so that's my <laughs> <one. laughs> So. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, but you forget again. Nigga, shut up. <laughs> Okay, go ahead, Travis. So, goddamn, we forgot again. <laughs> okay. Goddamn crown. You said you know every what? woman that you No, I don't, don't give a fuck. Fuck them. Okay. Go. Okay. <sighs> go. <laughs> <laughs> go. Okay, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Go no, no. ahead. No. Repeat what you just said. Repeat what you just said. Oh, he said you were saying that you don't give a fuck about. You was like, hey, you been hurt by every woman that you ever been with. Okay. Yeah, that sounds familiar. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I still don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> fuck all that. Forgot why um, I was born. Yeah, oh, 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 oh. Okay. okay. Wait, 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 okay. wait, wait, wait. All right. What I was going to say, I remember partially of what I was going to say. And partially what I was going to say was just in the simple fact that how I've been cheated on a number of times, all right? And going back to what you guys were saying was that there, there, there's a line there. All, all I wanted to say was just that being on both sides of it, a lot, I think it was Crystal Bats or somebody like that that was just saying that they, they've been on both sides of, of cheating. Yeah, that was Crystal Bates. 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 Okay. Bates. Okay. Bates. Bates. Yeah. Crystal oh. Bates, yeah. Okay. Hey! Hey, girl, hey! So there, there, there's a... Um, there's a thought process to, to think to take into consideration, all right? What I was saying earlier in regards to, like, there, guys don't have a thought process when it comes to behind cheating. But at the same time, when it gets to just like that other person said, that there is, you have to take into consideration that other person that you're with. You have to take their, their feelings, all right? You know, you're not going to just blatantly disrespect that other person's feelings, all right? I've been the nice guy a lot of times. And this was my main point of what I was going to say. It's coming back to me. Most of my life, up until my, my adult life, I was the nice guy. My dad used to have those birds and bees conversations with me when I was a little boy. And he, was, and he saw that I was a nice guy. I, I didn't lose my virginity until I was 18 years old. I was a nice guy. You know, and my dad told me when I was little <laughs> that, hey, you know nice guys finish last. I was like, Dad, how you going to tell me that? I, I, I don't want to finish last, but I'm nice. I was too nice. I let shit happen to me. Mm -hmm. I let shit happen to me out of fear of hurting the other person's feelings, out of fear of hurting that woman's feelings or getting to them to a point to where, where they feel, I don't want any animosity. I don't want you to feel some kind of way, all right? That's where I was. And it wasn't until after <clears throat> I changed that thought process to where I am, close to where I am now, as far as after I got divorced, after I left, me and my, my ex-wife, we had our, our blowout. We had our situation. I became an asshole. I'm not even going to joke about that. Even my girl tells me now that when we first met, I'm like, nigga, you ain't shit. That's what she, because I wasn't. Because I wasn't. And that's, but you know what? I'm going to be completely honest with you. I was in the Marine Corps for eight years. The time between when I divorced my, my, my ex-wife and before I got with my girl, I got more pussy then than the entire eight years I was in the Marine Corps. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? I was an asshole at that point in time. All right? I was, I was shit to women. I didn't give a fuck. I said what the fuck I wanted to say. But you know what, though? I, I, I will absolutely that, agree yeah. with you because... Oh, God. This is going to really fuck me up. But I'm going to say it for you. Okay. And your podcast. <laughs> I'm going to say it for you. What? The worse a woman talks to a man the better he treats her because he wants to prove to her that he's different. So if I'm just like, nigga, fuck that, but that guy. boy, fuck you. Fuck you. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't give a shit about what you got going on. I don't give a shit about what you doing, whatever the case may be. Right. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. And that will be the motherfucker that will sit up here and bust his ass to make sure that you know that he's different. Yep. I can agree. I can agree. I can agree. Mm -hmm. Um, so going back to the comments, Monica said she said, um, I like the futures. Um, I like assholes. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, you Jenna do. said when you've done all that yourself, that doesn't excite you. Um Lush has also said shit, it was a different story for me. We got pulled over and went to damn jail, and yes, he took his damn charge. But that shit wasn't fun no more. Right. When you just like, oh, you know, I want to be with a dope boy. But you grow up. But all young girls, I mean, everybody has to learn. Like, a, a lot of... Some, no. some women are groomed up to want their, their Russells right away. Okay? Mm. Some women are groomed up to want to goddamn fuck with some futures. And then get with the Russells. Bitches want to have... Excuse my language. I'm no, sorry. Yeah, Females true. wants to have fun. You no, know? No, no. No, you can say bitches. Okay. Well, she said I can say bitches. You can say bitches. Um, <laughs> bitches just want to have fun. And, you know, respect to all my queens out there. You but know, that's just how. Because sometimes. Because y'all niggas ain't fun. Y'all boring as fuck. 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 So that comes back to the whole point of where how women always. I'm about to take a part in the movie. Women always want to direct a fucking movie in which you're not the star. All right, because you know it comes back to the whole guy as far as hey, you know I might be boring, but you know I'm safe, and but that comes also back to women as well. That's why guys end up and and, and follow me and tell me if I'm wrong. Why guys will end up with a boring chick and go cheat with something. So can we different. talk about that though? Why guys would yeah. cheat with something that's completely different from what they're used to? So let, let's let's let's. Let's expand on that, okay? Because my my question is, okay, so for me, okay, fun. I'm exciting. I'm the life of the party. I am. You talk too much, bitch. Boy, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fucking touch me. Any fucking way. <laughs> He's a fucking random. He's a fucking random. He's a fucking random. Anyway, my whole point is, is that I am the person that you can take to a gala, and I'm also the person that you can take to the local uh 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 uh, uh look house, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So my question is, the women, and they're all on this post. Right, who can do both? Right, why are we snatched up yet? I understand. Like, why do y'all want those like super boring chicks that don't want to go nowhere? They just want to feel home? safe with our emotions that way because she ain't going to express them to nobody else. Is that why you feel safe with good, somebody? Good, good, well, she's right on in. I like that, she's right, right there, right, right because fucking it, there. Because I have told you more than one time about the Madonna whore complex that men internally uh, deal with. Is that men will not feel emotionally safe with a woman that they view as sexually provocative. All right, if they feel that that woman is how the fuck am I sexually provocative? So let me say this: Monica says she feel like I'm going to be Hold too on. much for. <laughs> oh, oh, I definitely was. What are you talking I about? I definitely wasn't talking about you. It's a song. That's why I said I said it for me. Come on, AD. He wasn't talking about you. Oh, yes. <laughs> I was just saying. Sit down. Look at him. Come on, AD. No, we don't lie. Bro. <laughs> okay. So Monica said, I feel like I'm going to be too much or too mean to a nice guy. And and that can be that can be the truth. That especially if he's a mama's boy. 
Um, if he's a mama's boy and then you're talking to him like nigga, you know, fuck you and your mama, you know, <laughs> like some shit like that, then you know, it it I I can definitely understand where you're coming from. So that means that you definitely would need your future because you would want somebody to talk back to you like bitch, shut the fuck up before I choke your ass. I'm sorry, my mind is right there and I really want to beat the shit out of him right now. Like, I really want to take the bottle and I really want to beat no, the shit out of him No, what right happened? Now. Oh, nothing. Okay. Um, so, what are we talking about so I can get included? So, in okay, oh, the bottom line is this, okay? Everybody, everybody wants their, everybody wants, you know, wants to tumble around with the future. Um, most men want to tumble around, who can I say? Um, Jocelyn. Most men probably want a Jocelyn, but end up with um, a Mimi. A Mimi, mm-hmm. you know. Um, so the thing is, is that sometimes this can be why men would cheat because they looking at their, you know, their significant other or spouse being born. They want something exciting. However, it's just like I don't feel as if I mean, in a certain extent, like yes. Nice guys do finish last. However, I hate that it has to be that way. But again, this is all with a fin- it I just want y'all to understand these Russells out here, it doesn't have anything to do with you. Okay? Mm-hmm. At the time, you're not her type. Right. At the time. At that time, you're not her type. And, but eventually and she's not ready and she's for right you. she's not ready for it she knows exactly what she could be ready for right you know and once she realized that fuck that shit you know i want this and that and the third this and that i want my own i don't want to keep sharing this and that I'm, I'm tired of the drama that's when she feel like that she's going to settle down and that's when she's going to find her russell i'm sorry for the guys that feel like that they are russells and they have to finish last I definitely do. Like it's it's not your fault. But yeah. continue being continue being the nice guy that you are. Like it don't feel as if like that you're gonna continue. you're going yes. Like don't allow for that to discourage you. None right. whatsoever. Because the woman that, that you're looking at no. currently, the woman that you're looking at currently probably ain't the one for you anyway. Right. Because she's probably yes, not right. going to appreciate you. Right. Yeah. So with she that may being be said, pretty, Yo. Yeah, but yeah. everything yeah. is she may be pretty. Go. She may have the TNA. She may, you know, just have like that swag to her. Fuck that swag. No, I. Y'all are asking the guy to get fucked over by a woman and continue to stay the no, same way. That's no, that's not what I'm no. saying. No, that's that not what I'm saying. That's a nice guy here. That is not what that's, I'm that's, 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 no, 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 no. That's, nice that's what they can possibly hear for real. But that's not what no. we're saying. What okay. we are saying is don't fucking settle to be treated badly or treated any kind of way that because you don't want to be yet. treated by somebody who doesn't appreciate you. Right. That's the only thing that I'm saying. That's the only right. thing that you're saying. Is that don't don't diminish yourself. Keep being the person that you are. Bottom line. Just keep being the person that you are. We're just, we're just, and the person that is supposed to be with you. The person that prayed for you. The person that you prayed for. You'll meet that person. It's, it's very ironic that you're saying stay the way that you are when you're at, in bottom lines what you're saying is like stay the way that you are until I'm not the person that I am right now. I'm okay. not saying now, like wait for me. I'm not saying wait for me. Okay, no, okay. I'm not that, saying that. General, However, keep it moving. Keep doing whatever you're doing to accomplish you is at least right. speaking to these women and getting to know them. Mm-hmm. However, it, and, and hopefully while you're going through that you're also building within yourself as well on what you're going to accept and what you're not going to accept because men should know they fucking worth too. Right. And right. When, and, when, when, and when men learn that, y'all end up losing, unfortunately. And and, and, and it might just be a good because situation. Because y'all end up going, because y'all end up going for those little video bitches because the we're right, gonna spin the big asses. Because the one we thought was right was saying we was too nice. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. 
Why, why the fuck are you moving? Like, oh. fuck, like, 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 so the like, thing the is, thing. um, the um, the whole thing is this. Like I said, you know, if you no, feel, because y'all niggas end up turning into the motherfuckers that took. Because we trusted our feelings. No, women no, 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 no. Y'all, y'all end nice. up turning into the nigga that took the bitch on vacation that won't give up no ass. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, and we thought she was gonna give up the ass. Right. Because uh, so y'all done turned into the nigga who took the bitch on vacation, who ain't giving up no ass. And the reason why she ain't give up no ass is because nice. you were the nice game. Mm-hmm. And that's but, our fault. But no, no, it's not. But the problem yes, is, yes, it is your fault. It, hold on, because hold on. if you ain't got no ass and you flew her all the way out to Miami. And you still ain't getting no ass. At the end of the day, I can sometimes see that it is your fault. That's your motherfucking fault. Spending all your money on a bitch you ain't fucked yet. Yes. That's your motherfucking that's fault. Thing, that's and I'm if that's that. your love and language of you asshole. goddamn spending money on a bitch and not being accepted, that's on fucking you. That's what I'm talking about. And Get it out. You don't want no nice guy. And that's where I was going. No, y'all don't want a nice guy. Yes, you do. No, 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 that's not what she's saying. That's not what I'm. What she's saying is, is that y'all nice guys go after the bitches who don't respect you. No, 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 we nice. Yes, you do. So let me tell y'all, y'all nice guys go. Okay, so from what I have, not what I have experienced, but what I have saw. You know, within the social media world or whatever. And even in reality is that y'all nice guys, y'all tend to go after the after the females. Like what AD said, that has fake asses, that looks pretty, that wears a lot of makeup, that does this, that's, that's an Instagram model, that, that's just, you know, that's this just out girl, there, you know? Mm-hmm. You know, and with you being out there and with you being a nice guy, you already know what the fuck she's about. That's not who we feel put our emotions with, though. Right. We don't put our emotions with those women. Clearly! Clearly put, you do! No, we don't. Clearly! No, we don't, because, don't, because don't, you will be the same woman you know that what? I what? I, I almost said something. I, and that's fine, I, and that's fine. I almost said But my point is it, that, no, it, guys Instagram. would not... Guys, it, Instagram. Yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right. When we'll put our... We'll because put you, our you, physically, you know what I'm talking about. Physically. Because you know what yeah, I'm talking about. Yeah, But that's not where we'll put our feelings. Did I, did I put my feelings there? No. Yes, you did. No, I did not. Nigga, bye. No. Niggas would not put their feelings with somebody that they feel that somebody is, and, and this is real shit, and y'all women will disagree with this, but you that's because y'all are not, y'all will be losing when it comes to understanding a man, all right? We're not meant to understand and, uh, men. Okay. Okay, so um you shut the fuck okay, up. Sorry, <laughs> you on that bullshit. And okay. I don't like you. So listen, like, hey, and I don't like you. <laughs> I just wanna say this. Like we went dumb. Okay, I'm just, okay, yeah, I just wanna thank y'all so so much for tuning in tonight. We've all officially fallen out with each other. <laughs> <laughs> we are <laughs> all four of us are not one of our friends after tonight. Hit me out that motherfucking group chat, nigga. Like, talking about I don't, don't wanna fucking like none of y'all asses. <laughs> none of y'all. But I definitely do want to thank each and everybody that has tuned in and also that is listening um, for tuning in to Conversations with Glow. Again, you can find me on all um, social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, um, YouTube at Conversations with Glow. And again, um, if you like what you hear or you like what you saw, I definitely want you guys to go ahead and love it, like it, share it, subscribe to my channel, do what you got to do. But again, thank y'all so much for tuning in. Until next time, I love y'all. Yay. Bye. Have a good night. Have a wonderful time.